You're watching the Daily Dodge pregame show. And a very pleasant good evening, everyone, from Roger Herring Stadium on the campus of the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse, Daily Dodge TV, and 95.3 WBEV present WIAA Playoff Football. And tonight it's a doozy of a matchup a Division V state quarterfinal between the defending Division IV state champion Columbus Cardinals and the two-time defending Division V state champion, Aquinas Blue Golds. Hi again, everybody. Mike Tronson with you at the football field. I'm joined by my good friend and partner, Tim Haldeman. Ninja is our videographer and engineer, assisted by Ember, and Jack is our radio engineer back at the 95.3 Studios in Beaver Dam. And this broadcast is brought to you by our presenting video sponsors, Hometown Glass and Improvement, and Columbus Family Dental. Also brought to you tonight by Prairie Ridge Health, Mid-State Equipment and Rentals, Duffy Grain, MP's Town Tap, Cardinal Embroidery and Screen Printing, the Columbus High School Drama Department, Columbus Self Storage, McKinstry's Home Furnishings, Kladowski Real Estate, Slumberland, Silica for Your Home. Tonight's game is brought to you by Summit Ford, Beaverdam Tire and Service and Mayville Tire and Service, Surefire, Richards Insurance, Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Park Village Shopping Center, Preferred Dental Partners, Jerry's Automotive, Air Care, The Dump in Cambria, and White Construction. Welcome into our pregame show, everyone. We're glad to have you with us on this Friday night. And Tim Haldeman, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is a matchup that we don't see very often, and that is two defending state champions going at it, and this is going to be a treat for sure, watching these two do battle tonight at this beautiful facility here in La Crosse. Mike, I don't know if this has ever happened uh, in previous WIAA history, very honestly, and uh, I'm going to take a, uh, a quick description out of the... Uh, out of the uh, game show network, all right? You know, ever heard of a guy by the name of Steve Harvey? Yes, I have. Family Feud? Yes. Hey, this was good. We got a good one for you tonight. That's what he always says, right? Right, he does. Well, folks, we got a good one for you tonight. I mean to tell you, this one is uh, pretty much the focal point, very honestly, I think of the state of Wisconsin as a whole. Uh, this is uh, a matchup like none other. Um, as you mentioned, Mike, the facility is like none other. I mean, to tell you, the, the digs that we, you and I are uh, sharing with uh, Ninja right next door to us here tonight, are um, they're not equal to Camp Randall Stadium. They're way better. And uh, uh, compared to Prairie du Chien in last week, well, that's not even a comparison. Because, folks, uh, for those of you that are watching, you can see as the uh, coin toss is being uh, uh, done right at this very moment, Aquinas has uh, is going to receive. Yeah, the they won the toss, and they're going to receive, yeah. And they'll be going from our left to right. And uh, wind, uh, very honestly, not a factor here tonight. <coughs> Field conditions, 
uh, absolutely perfect. Uh, this Aquinas Club uh, plays all of their home games at this facility right here. So no doubt a, a bit of a, uh, of a uh, benefit to, to them. But I'll tell you what, let's face it, everybody speeds up just a little bit on turf. The, the whole game speeds up a little bit. And um, I don't think Aquinas wants Colton Brunel to be any quicker than he is on a normal basis because he's pretty quick and he's really tough. And uh, Aquinas has their hands full tonight. Uh, of course, um, these two clubs have one opponent, common opponent, and that being Prairie du Chien, Aquinas actually lost to uh, Prairie du Chien in the first game of the year by a final of 21-16. And, of course, last week uh, in the second round of the playoffs, um, Columbus disposed of Prairie du Chien 33-7 or whatever the final score was on that. But, um, you know, you can pretty much throw those uh, comparisons out the door. It's, uh, it's all in what goes on on the field here this evening. Yeah, that I will uh, say, you know, you are correct. One common opponent being Prairie du Chien, but what I will say is, as you mentioned, Aquinas played them in week one. And to me, now that we're sitting here on November 3rd, that's ancient history. Teams change and they evolve and they get better as the season goes on. So how much can you read into that, that they lost to them in Columbus? I don't know that you can a whole lot because I'm sure this Aquinas team would agree they're not the same team now that they were in week one, and even Columbus probably could say that. And both teams, Tim, are 10-1, and one, so we're talking about really good football teams. Well, very true. And, of course, Lodi's only loss was to uh, the number one team in Division Four, and uh, Columbus still holds the uh, computer ranking, if you will, um, pretty much uh, in their back pocket right now because uh, they're still holding that, uh, holding that one up it's a little bit of uh, locker room fodder, if you will. Um, the You talk about growing up, and, and I'll tell you, the guys that have grown up are the, uh, the defensive linemen for Columbus. Those guys started out as sophomores, the, the majority of them, and uh, now uh, they're, they're just no longer sophomores. And uh, uh, these, these guys really grew up. And I think we mentioned uh, last week at the end of the game uh, how much improvement they've made throughout the season, and uh, hopefully they'll uh, continue that this evening. So we've got a big matchup for you tonight. It's Columbus and Aquinas. Now, earlier this week, our good friend and colleague Wade Bates had a chance to chat with Columbus head coach Andy Selgrad, and we would like to play that interview for you right now. The Columbus High School football team getting ready for another trip out west as they head to lacrosse for a matchup with Aquinas as we bring in head coach Andy Selgrad. Before we talk about Aquinas, coach, uh, you made the trip to Prairie du Chien last week, and you have to be happy with the performance you saw from your team in level two? No, oh, absolutely. You know, it was a tough game. It was a grinder, uh, but we responded. We started a little bit slow, but, you know, we just kept pounding the rock and, you know, we made some timely pass plays, and I, I, I thought our defense played lights out. So it was a it was a good win. Is that kind of been the case this year? I mean, you've had a lot of blowout wins, but just the strength of your team and in the depth of your team, coach, you have been able to just wear teams down. And by the time you get to that, you know, mid third quarter, fourth quarter, you're just uh, you're able to kind of pull away. Oh, absolutely. You know, and that's that's the the beauty of the way our, we run our offense is we just keep pounding the rock, and you know, two three yards turns into four or five and then eventually turn into 20 and 30s and long runs so you know you, you just got to be patient you got to be calm and collected and our kids have done a really good job doing that and we've really grown throughout the season just to be patient uh to just stick with the plan and execute coach i think i read a stat leading into your game last week that that was columbus's first road true road playoff game since like 2015 is, is that correct is that something that you saw too uh, no, I, that's the first I've heard of it. So I don't know. Hey, it could be. Yeah, because um, uh, Prairie du Chien, I was going to say, it said that you know, he had some neutral site games, but uh, it was the first uh, road playoff game. That just shows you the consistency of the Columbus program, doesn't it? Absolutely. You know, you know producing good teams every year, uh, that's why we want to build the program that we have and just to have that model of consistency. So that way, no matter what we, we face, you know, whether it's at home or on the road, we can be consistent no matter what. 
Coach, you make another trip uh, to the western part of the state, uh, going to lacrosse, UW lacrosse, to face Aquinas, a team that uh, obviously uh, gets lots of accolades in the state of Wisconsin. When you look at the film and you look at Aquinas, uh, what do you see? I see a, a big, fast, physical football team. You know, in a lot of ways, they mirror us. And, you know, they're a veteran team. They've been uh, very successful, especially the last two years. And you, you can tell they do things the right way. They're very well coached. Um, they're, they're just a good football team all around. They're solid. Coach, you mentioned very similar to you. I mean, does that, I mean, the style of football that you play, do you feel like both sides of the ball you can pretty much match up with anybody just, uh, just because of the big physicalness that, that, that you bring to the table as well? Oh, absolutely. You know, and that's what we pride ourselves on. And I'm sure that's what they pride themselves on as well. So, you know, it, they've changed their, their offense a little bit from last year to this year. They're a little bit more of a power team. They like to run the ball a lot more than they did last year. And, you know, they, they're reaping the benefits of it. They're, they're good. They're very good. Do you like going on the road? I mean, obviously you want to be at home in the friendly confines, but uh, do, you, do you embrace going on the road and going into some people's house and, uh, and trying to take care of business? I just like going to play football, no matter where it is. So, you know, road, home, doesn't much matter to us. We're just going to do what we do uh, every week. So, Coach, what are some keys to victory if you want to get a win over Aquinas and move on to the state semifinals? Well, we're going to have to be very sound on both sides of the ball. we got to be able to read our keys on defense and, and stick with the plan um, and, and be able to go with the ebb and flow of the game. Offensively, we've just got to be consistent. we got to be able to run the ball and pass the ball both effectively. Um, and we got to be able to just match their physicality and exceed it. Uh, we got to come out with juice and energy and uh, just get after it right away from the kickoff. Coach, is it going to be the last person out of Columbus to turn out the lights on uh, Friday afternoon? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> uh, Coach Andy Selgrad, I appreciate the time, and good luck Friday night in the state quarters against Aquinas. Thanks, Wade. And you can uh, hear that game on 95.3 WBEV and watch it on Daily Dodge TV. Are you ready for peace of mind? Chad Guzzi here, owner of AirCare and Beaver Dam. If you're tired of unexpected repair bills, you want to sign up for our Total Care plan. It ensures top performance and prolonged life of your heating and air conditioning equipment. AirCare's Total Care customers receive annual inspections as well as a reduced maintenance rate plus a 10% discount on all service repairs. AirCare, big enough to serve you, small enough to care, 920-356-8860. Join the American Packaging team and help create packaging for some of the most iconic brands in the world. Sarah says the benefits at American Packaging are fantastic. At American Packaging, we have a great 401k match. They match us 75 cents for every dollar up to 5%. And we get quarterly bonuses. If we meet our budget, we get a Christmas bonus. If you've been here five years, you will also get a seniority bonus. Learn more about joining the American Packaging team in Columbus and DeForest by checking out the careers page at AmericanPackaging.com. You're watching the Daily Dodge pregame show. And we continue our pregame programming here at Roger Herring Stadium, UW Lacrosse. Mike Trons and Tim Haldeman just minutes away from kickoff of this Division V state quarterfinal matchup. Let's give you the starting lineups first. The offensive starters for Aquinas, and the Blue Golds are coached by Tom Lee. The quarterback, Jacob Thornton, a 5-foot, 10-inch, 155-pound junior. At running back, Kyle White, 5-foot, 10-inch, 190-pound junior. Wing back, David Moline, senior at 6 feet tall, 190. The tight end is Jesse Penke, a 5'11 senior at 160 pounds. Receivers include Trey Barr, a 6 foot 1 inch, 185 pound junior, and Logan Becker, a 6'2 sophomore at 175. Looking at the offensive lineman, Shane Willenbring, a 6 foot 5 inch, 265 pound senior. Brett Zielkowski, 6'1, 215 and a senior. John Carney, 6'4", 230-pound junior. William Flotmeyer, 6'3", 222-pound sophomore. And Maxwell Malaszewski, 6'4", 285-pound junior. Those are the offensive starters for Aquinas. Now the defensive starters for Columbus. And the cornerbacks are Axel Elaine, 6'3", 185-pound junior, along with Jordan Mowbray, 6'1", 165, and a sophomore. The safeties include Brady Link, 5'11", 
five foot nine inch, 180 pound senior, along with Riley Knockreiner, a senior at six feet tall, 185. Linebackers. Colton Brunel is a linebacker, 6'1", senior at 205, and Connor Roach, a junior at 5'9", 160, also at linebacker Jefferson Mowbray, 6'3", inch, 200-pound senior, along with Luke Call. He is a 6'3", inch, 180-pound junior. The defensive ends are Jordan Ruder, a sophomore, 6'2", 220, and Wyatt Graffin, a sophomore at 6'5", 245. The nose tackle is Jack Rokey. Six foot one inch, 230 pound junior. Those are your starters. Again, uh, Aquinas won the coin flip before the game. They elected to receive the opening kickoff tonight. We're going to step aside. We'll be back to get you ready for the opening kickoff right after this break. We'll take a a two minute break on Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 WBEV. Cardinal Embroidery and Screen Printing is your source for custom embroidery and screen printing. From t-shirts, hoodies and hats, to polos, dress shirts, and jackets, we have everything your local business needs to be noticed and the right gear for athletes and fans. Cardinal Embroidery is proud to work with many area schools, and we wish our Columbus Cardinals good luck as they keep their season going. Let's go Cards! In a time before Facebook, World of Warcraft, and massive multiplayer online RPGs, there once existed simply a game, Dungeons and Dragons. Tilly Evans dies tragically in a car crash. Her older sister Agnes tries to understand who her sister was through a D&D adventure. Join her on her journey at the Columbus High School on Friday, November 10th and Saturday, November 11th at 7 p.m. and Sunday, November 12th at 1 p.m. Are you looking for a safe, secure place to store your extra stuff? Halloween decorations, classic car, boat, or RV? Columbus Self Storage has you covered. Columbus Self Storage has climate and moisture controlled, well lit units open 24 hours a day with a variety of sizes to meet your needs. Conveniently located off of Highway 151 in Columbus. Contact Columbus Self Storage at 608 217 7245 to learn more. Duffy Grain has been serving the local agricultural community as a family-owned company since 1928. Duffy Grain provides grain marketing and transportation services with locations in Columbus and Marshall. Visit DuffyGrain.com for market updates, or you can also join the team at Duffy Grain today. Now hiring full-time grain haulers and elevator staff and offering competitive pay with great benefits. Apply online at DuffyGrain.com and click on the careers page. Congratulations, Cardinals, on a great season. You're watching the Daily Dodge pregame show. And we welcome you back to lacrosse. When you're faced with a challenge, how you respond determines the real winners. Rural Mutual believes there's something more important than just winning or losing a game. They believe that the team, school, and fans who support their athletes with dignity and class are the true champions. Rural Mutual is the proud sponsor of the WIAA Rural Mutual Insurance Sportsmanship Award since it started in 1965. From football to volleyball to soccer to tennis, the award recognizes more than team sportsmanship. It recognizes that sportsmanship matters in your community as well. Visit RuralMutual.com slash WIAA and see how our team and your community can work together to be true champions. Once again tonight, we'd love to have you send us an email during the broadcast, sports at dailydodge.com, sports at dailydodge.com. Send me your name, where you're from, who you're cheering for. And some people, Tim, are so eager to email us that they did it earlier today. As a matter of fact, this email came in at 1145 this morning. Carla and John Salzweedel stoked to check out the Cardinals. Thanks to the live stream on Daily Dodge. Thanks so much for the great coverage and rad commentary, they say. Go see bus, bless you. And this email here, this is from uh, Ed and Pat Shellen. They'll be cheering on the football team as they travel to the Antarctic. Good luck to the team and coaches. We want to thank all the former coaches from those in flag football to high school that ingrained the skills and determination that got our team this far. Go Cardinals from the Shellens. And again, you can check in tonight. Sports at DailyDodge.com is where you'll find us. For those of you on the radio that can't see it, 
Aquinas is wearing blue jerseys and pants with gold helmets and white numbers. Meanwhile, Columbus in white jerseys and pants tonight, white helmets, red numbers, red trim. And in the first half of play, Aquinas is going to go left to right as Tim Haldeman and I see it. Well, I know Pat and Ed really, really well, and I saw them the other day out at a, a local uh, department store, and they were uh, they were uh, purchasing brand new uh, beach equipment. They were, huh? yeah, for their trip to Antarctica. Beach equipment. <laughs> Otto Andler's going to kick it away for Columbus. Twin safeties back deep for the Aquinas Blue Golds as we get set. Here in lacrosse. Thanks for being with us. Looks like Kyle White, one of the men back deep. Here's the approach, and it's a short squib kick. Bounces and will be taken at the 25, and then the return man, White, gets touched down shy of the 30-yard line. So I guess that was by design, kind of a, uh, I guess so. a short yeah. a ground ball or squib kick, whatever you want to call yeah. it. And uh, I guess it worked to a point because oh, yeah. it's going to be first and 10 for the – Blue Golds at their own 28-yard line. And uh, Kyle White, as I mentioned, only got about two, three yards on the return. And if he's dangerous, I guess maybe that's why you do that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just underway. Again, Blue Golds going left to right. They've got the ball first. Quarterback is Jacob Thornton. He's had a nice year, thrown for almost 1,000 yards. And he's out of the gun on first and 10 from his own 28 and hands it off. Ball carrier straight ahead and met near the 29, pushing the pile across the 30, still on his feet, Whoa. still on his feet, out to the 35. And wow, what a run for Kyle White. Well, I tell you what, this guy, he's pretty darn good. Coming into this game, Kyle White has rushed for, oh, about 960 yards and 12 touchdowns. And boy, he, that, I thought that might only be like a two- or three-yard gain. Well, I'll tell he you got what, seven Mike, on that play. Th there are times when that ball would have been killed because the pile was not moving. And then all of a sudden a bunch of people joined yep. in, and uh, then it moved ahead about three. Second and three yards. with two receivers to the left. They hand it off. White again coming to the right side, and he's taken, well, almost taken down on the first way, but he broke a tackle. And now finally no it took well, two other guys. Yeah, no gain, but he got the first guy missed. And it took two other Columbus players to kind of come in on the second attempt. So you're right, Tim. He did get a yard. So it's going to be third and two for Aquinas. The ball is on their own 36-yard line. We're a minute and 10 seconds in. One thing you don't have to worry too much about, and that is the keeper by the quarterback. He very seldom runs the football. No, he does not run a whole lot. But this team does like to run the ball. Starts with White, as we mentioned. Ball's on the left hash. Third and two, Blue Golds on their own 36. They motion a man. Snap, and reverse. they run a reverse. This is Becker, and he gets tripped Ooh, up. Just short. Just short of the stick. Nice job defensively. Jordan Mowbray and, and Brady Link were both out there. I believe Mowbray got the hand to force him down. Shy of the stick, it's fourth down and one. And that is a great, great opening stand for the Columbus defense as it's going to force a punt. And it's going to be Brady Lenhair to punt it. And now a flag comes up before the ball's even snapped in the backfield. Well, going back to that last play, Mike, that's just a great job of, uh, the, by the way, it's a five-yard five walk-off against Aquinas. Yeah, I didn't but see that, the That's call, just a but... great job of um, holding your spots. You know, just doing your hot job, staying home, you know, forcing it back inside and let you, letting your teammates clean up the uh, the job on the inside. So a fourth and six, still a punting situation. Len Hare will kick it away. And he's standing back at his own 21-yard line. Snap back to him, and he gets the kick away. High floater, Brady Link getting away from it. It bounces inside the 25 of Columbus down to the 20, inside the 20. It's going to die around the 18-yard line. So Columbus Cardinals will get their first offensive possession of the night. No score as of yet. 9.27 to go in period number one. Let's get to some emails. Go Cards watching from Marshfield. And uh, let's see here. This is from Julie Benish. It says, my hometown team. Go Cards watching from Marshfield. And got Jordan Reuter's name on there as well. Let's see what else we have here. Overnight Bonnie. 
<laughs> says, hey, Mike, cheering on the Columbus Cardinals from Marshall, warm and cozy, looking for a win tonight. Thanks for the coverage, and Bonnie, thanks for the email. We'll get to some more here in a moment. Sports at DailyDodge.com. First and 10, Columbus. From their own 18, they move right to left in the first quarter. Out of the gun, Powers gives it to who else? Colton Brunel. Left side, 20 flag, flag on the play as Brunel is driven out of bounds. And, yeah, this would appear, Tim, to be coming back right off the get-go. Hey, we've got uh, Casey, Chris, Alex, Abe, Kevin, and D.C., Checking in from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Rooting for the alma mater. Roll cards. Casey Crombie check it in there with that one. And let's see. This is from an email from your favorite ticket lady. Do you know who I'm talking oh, about, yeah. Tim? Oh, I sure do. Who am I talking Everybody's about? Everybody's favorite, Casey. Cheryl. Your Cheryl. T- Cheryl. I was Casey's like, wait a minute, Casey, what are you talking Good about? gosh. All right. Casey's mom, yeah. So after Cheryl. the penalty on Columbus... <clears throat> It is now first and 19 back at the nine-yard line. Again, sports at dailydodge.com is where you'll find us. Ball's back of the nine after that penalty, and here we go. Give to Brunel. Left side, 10. Cut back, 15, and he's taken down right around the 15-yard line. Tackle made on the play by Cullen Pittman, the junior linebacker. And now we have a Columbus player down. Oh, boy. This is not good, and the Columbus player is down over at the 13, and was that number six? I think it was. It might have been Axel Elaine, but we'll see. I don't want to scare anybody here until we know for sure, but we have an injured player, so we have a timeout on the field, 9.08 left in the first quarter. This is a Division Five state quarterfinal. Winner of this game. Moving on to level four next weekend. And the player He's getting up. being helped up. 64. That's a good sign. It was 64. Okay, so I, I apologize. It was that's not Landon Elaine. Schultz, the sophomore. Well, he's walking off under his own power. So that's a very good sign. Very good sign there. He's an important cog in the machine. Well, they're all important. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you uh, probably, I don't know if you can see it in the, in the camera right now, but there's a big building back behind the... Uh, the, the field here on the other side of this stadium, we'll, we'll show it eventually. It's a beautiful indoor track and field facility. and athletic. I think they can use it probably for football practices in there. And and uh, that's fairly new. I don't think it's been here too long. And wonderful facility as part of this entire UWL complex. All right, second down and 12 from the 16 after a gain of seven. Two receivers to the right. Powers out of the gun. Hand up or nil. Straight ahead, 20. Lowers the shoulder and gets out to about the 24-yard line. That was a quick eight yards right there, right up the middle. Mike and I, I, so far, you know, it's only a couple plays, but I do like the fact how the uh, offensive line is uh, getting off the mark and, uh, you know, controlling the line of scrimmage. Trey Barr on the tackle there. It's going to be third and about four. The ball's on the 24-yard line, and, well, this started as first and 19, so at least you've got a third and manageable here. So two receivers right. Ball's on that near hash mark. Third and four from their own 24. Powers wants to throw. Now being chased out of the pocket, running for his life, looking for somebody, and he's taken down well shy of the stick. They're going to mark him. He gained about one. At the 25, and that right it would be a gain of one, but it's a fourth and about two, so it's going to be a punting situation, it would appear, for Columbus. 7.45 and counting, left in the first quarter. No score between Aquinas and Seabus. You know, for those watching on uh, television, he had a trailing back. His name was Brunel, and it, would, it wasn't designed that way, but he, he could have done it and uh, possibly uh, gain the first down, but also very risky. Here's the punt by Riley Knockreiner. Nobody 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 was back back. deep. There was nobody back for Aquinas, and that'll give Columbus a break because they watched the ball just kind of roll and die at the Aquinas 26-yard line. 7-10 to go. First quarter, no score. How about some emails? This one says, Chris Rentmeester watching from Columbus. Cheering on Johnny Cotter. And what else do we have here tonight? Go Cards watching from Madison. Let's get back to state. 
Thanks to Daily Dodge for the coverage. That's from Maeve Dressler, CHS class of 2015. Sports at DailyDodge.com if you want to chime in. It's first and 10 for Aquinas from their own 26. To give to the motion man. And coming to the near side and being taken down inbounds, Walter Burns, six foot four inch senior. Where's number zero? You got a couple. And once a good, good containment. And a really good pursuit by the uh, Columbus left side of the defense. Well, defenses have three and ruled outs, here. Both clubs. Yep, defenses have ruled early in this game. Second and eight after a gain of two. And the snap, and who did they give it to? Counter. And the ball through. carrier. Fumble. Is David Moline. Nope, 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 and me. Moline rumbling his way for a first down out to the 39-yard line. So it's a first and ten. David Moline is a six-foot senior, 190-pounder, and he's going to be wrestling for the Wisconsin Badgers next year. He's no slouch. He's no slouch, and we just saw it on that play as he gets a fresh set of downs for the Blue Golds. First and 10, Aquinas on their own 39. Ball's in the middle of the field, two receivers to the left. Out of the gun, Thornton takes the snap, hands it off. Ball carrier straight ahead, White, and dragging tacklers out near midfield. Kyle White, boy, a powerful runner is Kyle White, and he may have another first down, or he's very close to it anyways. They're gonna, are they going to give it to him or no? Because, my goodness, he started at the 39. The ball's at they, the 49. and okay. know what they're doing. All right, now that, yeah, the chain they're, gang was, okay. yeah, they were, now they're moving the chain. So it was a first down, 10-yard pickup. Yeah, just to, from the couple runs we've seen, Tim, very powerful runner and I'll tell you, the tough big to bring down. Up front, they average uh, well over 240. Yes. They're about 20 pounds uh, per man uh, heavier than Columbus up Yeah, front. they're big boys. Snap. And the give is to White, and this time he is going to be taken down. Guess who played defense and brought him down? Colton Brunel, limiting him to a short gain on that play. Three Three yards to the 48 of Columbus, 524 and counting left in the first period. No score as of yet. A second and seven coming up for Aquinas. From the 48 of Columbus, they'll pack it in tight. Snap, Thornton, he wants to roll to the near side and throw off his back foot. It is incomplete. That one intended for Moline on the near side. Riley Knockreiner in coverage. They had uh, three receivers on the near side. They flooded this zone over here, and uh, they tried to confuse the Columbus defensive backs. It didn't work, and uh, the receiver had very little room to play with. And uh, very honestly, the quarterback uh, just, you know, uh, the better of valor, if you will, just uh, threw it way in front of him and uh, out of bounds. Wasn't going to go anywhere. Brings up a big third and seven right here. From the 48 of Columbus, Aquinas on third and seven. Snap to Thornton. He runs to the left, looking to throw, and it is caught. Inside the 30, down to the 25-yard line, Logan Becker. He's got another first down for the Blue Golds. They're on the march. And this one, they're going to spot it at the 25, so it's a gain of 23 23 yards on the pass play. First and 10, Aquinas at the Columbus 25-yard line. Single receiver to the right, one to the left. Thornton in the gun and takes the snap and fakes the hand. one gave it to Moline, 20. Down to the 15-yard line goes Moline very close. He may even have another first down here. They've uh, ran that play twice. It's a, you'd call it an inside counter, a trap, and uh, good yardage gain both times, and both times it's Moline. And uh, another first down for the... Uh, Another 10 yards. Blue Golds, who now have used up uh, almost uh, three minutes of this first quarter clock on this first drive. First and 10 from the 15. White breaks a tackle in the backfield. Gets down to the 10. So Kyle White has just picked up five yards to make it a second and five. 
Go Cards from Brian, Lindsay, Grayson, and Nolan checking in on the broadcast tonight. Thank you very much. We have a timeout. Oh, it was an injured player. We have a timeout for an injured player. An injured player down for Aquinas. Let's take a quick 30-second break. Back in 30 seconds, Daily Dodge TV, 95.3 WBEV. Just a 30-year. Mid-State Equipment and Rentals in Columbus congratulates the Cardinals on another fantastic season. Mid-State Equipment has lifts available for rent, great for tree trimming and holiday decorating, and building repair and maintenance. Mid-State Equipment has a nice selection of still products, including many battery-operated units like chainsaws and leaf blowers. Get ready for the winter with a new Aaron's Snowblower. Mid-State Equipment can also service your Bobcat and John Deere equipment. Learn more at midstateequipment.com. As always, go Cardinals. All righty, after the timeout, we're back to live action. Or The player was uh, got off the field under his own power. That was a good sign. 3.52 and counting left in the first quarter. No score, but Columbus right now on their heels. Second and five, Aquinas at the Columbus 10-yard line. Two receivers on the left side. Thornton, the give to White. Straight ahead, and he's met and taken down after a short pickup of a couple of yards. Two, maybe three on the play. Looks like uh, Luke Penalty Call the was there. And is there a flag? Yeah, there is a flag. I didn't see it initially. We're going to check out the flag here. Let's see who this is on. Our officiating crew discussing it right now. It's on Columbus. Yeah, it would appear to be. Flag was thrown by the uh, near side linesman. Oh, uh, face, face mask. mask. Down to the four. So, face mask penalty on Columbus. And it's going to be first and goal at the four yard line for Aquinas. 3.35 to go in a scoreless first quarter, but the Blue Golds threatening to get on the board right here. First and goal, Aquinas. At the four. Single receivers each side. Thornton out of the gun. He's going to run with it and get tripped up at about the three. Oh, wait. Ooh, that was, uh, there was a direct cat. snap to White. They wildcatted there. Beg your pardon. Kyle White, a direct snap. He picked up one, and it'll be second and goal from the three. They do that every once in a while, these teams now. Gotta, Prairie to Sheen did the, yeah, tried the same did. thing last week with uh, their six foot four back, but uh, you know he got injured. Uh, in the second quarter last week, and that sort of took that away from Prairie du Chien. All right, 250 and counting left in the first. Second and goal for Aquinas on the three-yard line. Low snap, direct snap again to White. Ooh. Dives, and is he in? Yep. Touchdown, yep. Blue Golds. Kyle White took the direct snap, and with 2.41 to go in the first, Aquinas has a 6 nothing lead. Three yards on the run for White. One thing I've noticed, Mike, uh, their offensive line, they have like zero splits. I mean, those linemen are, uh, their feet are touching, which, uh, you know, indicates that they're going to run, but uh, they're, they're just uh, packing it up inside. And, and they're going to go for two. They're going to go for two. Thornton out of the gun, has the snap, running to the near oh. side, and throws. It is incomplete. It was grabbed by Logan Becker, but they're saying he was not in bounds. So it's 6 nothing. Aquinas, 2.41 left in the first quarter. Let's take a one-minute break. Back in one minute, Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 WBEV. Come on over to MP's Town Tap at 153 North Ludington Street in Columbus for hearty homemade soups, fresh pizza made to order, and burger patties hand padded to perfection each morning. Enjoy daily specials like Taco Tuesdays or Saturday's Juicy Prime Rib, and events like free darts and pool on Tuesdays or bingo on Wednesdays. Like them on Facebook or call 920-623-4527 for their hours and to learn more. Go Cards! The comfort in your home is too important to trust to just anyone. With over 75 years in the industry, Surefire Heating and Air Conditioning is proud to bring our community the heating and cooling services you deserve. 
Expect nothing short of excellence in service, installation, and 24-7 emergency service. As a premier Lennox dealer, we carry the best in equipment to bring you and your home peace of mind. Schedule your annual maintenance or claim your free in-home estimate today, 920-485-4883. Surefire, keeping what's important comfortable since 1947. Six to nothing, Aquinas leads Columbus with 2.41 to go in the first quarter. And Aquinas kicking it off here. 11 plays, 74 yards, took the Blue Golds four minutes and 21 seconds. And they do a squib kick, and it's fielded by Columbus's Riley Kaminsky, one of the up men. He just grabbed it, went down to a knee. And so Columbus is going to start off first and 10 at about its own 33-yard line. Mike Tronson, Tim Haldeman with you tonight. Ninja, Ember, and Jack are helping us out. Again, send us an email, sports at dailydodge.com. Watching in Columbus, this one says, cheering for a C-Bus win and enjoying listening to the game with my two favorite announcers. Oh, that's from Claire and family. Thank you very much, Claire and family. We appreciate that. We'll get to some more in a moment, first and 10. Cardinals on their own 33, going right to left, and the toss goes to Roach. Right side, trying to turn the corner, he Outside, does. 35, the 40, 45, sideline 50, 45. He's inside the 40. Wait a minute, did he step out of bounds? Let's see. But Roach was able to get to the outside and went running down that far sideline. We're going to see where they mark it here. At they, the 44. Well, at the 44, but still a great yards. run. 23-yard pickup for Connor Roach. Nothing fancy. Roach uh, lined it up on the uh, near side, went in motion, little quick flip. You know, actually by rights, it's probably a pass because they because uh, Powers right. actually pitches it up, but we're going to call it a run. And uh, he uh, ducked inside, got the corner, and uh, went down the far sideline. Actually had a little more, but uh, they uh, deemed him out of bounds at the 44. Good start to this drive. First and 10 for the Cardinals, now on the Aquinas 44. Single receivers left and right. Now they motion a man, that's Roach. Hand off Brunel, straight ahead, and boy, not much happening up the middle. He got maybe a yard. They're going to give him one to the 43, where it's going to be a second down and nine. Let's uh, check out another email here if we can. Keeping an eye on the Cotter's house from Mary and Steve. <laughs> well, that's good to know. <laughs> Oh, He's my well goodness. insured. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> what else do we have here? Good luck cards. Go Luke. Grandpa Dave from Siren, Wisconsin, checking in tonight. Again, sports at dailydodge.com if you want to check in. Second and nine Cardinals from the Blue Gold 43. Snap back to Powers. Gives it to Brunel and gets to the 40 and then taken down right there. A couple of blue jerseys in on that stop and leading the way was Cullen Pittman, the six-foot junior, 188-pounder. Third and six here, uh, possibly four-down territory. So uh, you might just uh, keep it close to the vest here and give it to Brunel a couple times. Clock is ticking, a minute 14 and counting left in the opening quarter. Six-nothing Blue Gold's lead, but Columbus on the march with a third and six from the Blue Gold 40. Powers looking to throw. Cross the middle, and it's intercepted. He overshot the intended target, Mowbray, and it was intercepted by Trey Barr. And that's unfortunate because Mowbray was open, but the ball sailed past him. He overshot the intended receiver, and Barr, all he had to do was just kind of pluck it out of that midair, and he makes the interception. Always dangerous when you throw over the middle. There's a lot of people there, and uh, if it's just not right on the money, there's uh, too many uh, blue-shirted blue golds there to uh, come up with a football. So, uh, well, serves as a as a punt nonetheless. Big, but it does, right. First and 10 blue golds. They're at their own 22-yard line. Under a minute to play first quarter. A little misdirection play, and look out. We've got Moline off the left side. And Moline takes it to the 29. That's a nice pickup of seven yards on first down. Second and three coming up for Aquinas. 
And we're down to 39 seconds and counting left in the first period. 6-0 Blue Golds lead the Cardinals. This is going to be a second and three play from the 29. Snap back, hand, they run a reverse. Moline again, play. same play. Breaking tackles, first down and more out across the 40 <coughs> to the 42-yard line. And that is a pickup of 13 yards. And a fresh set of downs for the Blue Golds, 15 seconds and counting left in the period. Looks like they'll get one more playoff here before the end of the period. Four carries for 41 yards for Moline, and they're all on the same type of play, that little inside trap. Yep. And Gotta off, White straight ahead to the 45, and he's down right near the 45, maybe the 46. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. The clock has hit double zeros. End of the first, it is Aquinas 6, Columbus nothing. Back in one minute, Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 WBEV. At Summit Ford Beaver Dam, we are committed to serving the customers in our community, to bringing you into our dealership and making the buying process easy, fun, stress-free, and memorable. Thank you for choosing us and voting us Dodge County's best place to buy a new or used vehicle. Stop in today for a test drive and to see how we can help you find the car of your dreams. Summit Ford Beaver Dam. Hey, it's Stacy with Slumberland, Beaver Dam in Watertown. Stop in and see everything that our store has to offer. We built it just for you. We have mattresses, box springs, power bases, bedroom sets, furniture, living room sets, dining sets, everything that you would need to complete your entire home. We've got our interest-free financing and a really great local staff here to help you. So you've got all local people here to help you out from start to finish for anything that you would need. So stop in, shop local, and save big with us. As we come back, second quarter getting underway here in lacrosse. Aquinas 6, Columbus nothing. This email says, still have my pirate gear on, but watching Seabus. Just wanted to thank the station for covering the volleyball match this morning. It was exciting. Let's go cards. Get her done. Mike and Tim, such an awesome crew. And Ninja 2 from Diane in Fall River. First play of the second quarter. Thank you, Diane, by the way. We appreciate that as they blow that play dead as the ball is snapped. Flags are down. Looks like it's going to be offside. That's the preliminary indication. And it's offside on Columbus. So what I was going to say, though, is uh, uh, and Diane's email uh, spurred me to think about that, was uh, congratulations to the Fall River volleyball team making its first ever trip to the state tournament earlier today. And they lost a heartbreaking five-set match to Wanawak Center in Green Bay. Handoff White, he avoided one tackler, but not the second wave. Brunel missed, which doesn't happen very often, but his teammates were there to help finish off that one, and it's going to bring up a third down and four after a gain of one, but uh, yeah, Wade Bates was up there broadcasting earlier today in Green Bay on uh, 1430 ESPN. Beaver Dam did a great job on the call, and it was uh, a, a fun match, an outstanding match, but Tell you what, uh, Fall River, they're a pretty young team. They, they got a good, good future ahead of them. All right, third and three now. Aquinas on the 49 of Columbus. Thornton being chased, running for his life, throws. It is not incomplete, intended for Becker. And I tell you what, that was a heck of a defensive play by Jordan Mulberry to bat it down. And it's fourth and three. And Aquinas here, you're at... You're at the 49 of Columbus. I would imagine you pooch punted here. Well, Columbus had to come up with a, a big stop. And right that was there. a big stop. Having uh, given up the uh, touchdown drive of uh, 11 plays in, in over uh, four and a half minutes just uh, moments ago, you got to come up with a big stop. And they've uh, they've done that. But uh, a good punt here could – Columbus doesn't have anybody no, back. No, they have nobody back deep. And this They're is a fake. fake it. It's a fake punt. Look out. They've got a man. Incomplete. Oh, wow. That's that's, a, and that's why they didn't put any, anybody back, Tim. Len Hare, the punter, threw a pass intended for Waylon Hargrove, a six-foot sophomore, and he just overshot him. 
And so the Cardinals with a big break there as they're going to get it first and 10 at their own 49 in the second quarter. For those of you listening on radio, Columbus is going left to right as Tim and I see it, but I wonder if, if Columbus sniffed a possible fake there, and that's well, why they didn't put anybody that's back. that's a possibility, but I, I question the thinking right there. You know, you get a 35-foot rolling punt. you got Columbus back down to the 15-yard line. You've got a touchdown lead already. I, I don't come up with that one. Hand off to Brunel. Breaks a tackle, but can't get by the second wave. And my goodness, blue jerseys all over the place. Brady Lee was there. Cullen Pittman was there. And it's no gain on the play. Second and 10 for the Cardinals. And they've got the ball at their own 49-yard line. Well, the one play offensively that has worked well for Columbus has been the uh, the pitch to uh, to Connor Roach that went around the outside and uh, with the wide side of the field to the left, right here, the ball on the near hash mark, I uh, wouldn't be surprised one bit. Second and 10 Cardinals from their own 49 balls on the near side hash. There it is. And the toss to Roach, left side he goes, cut back inside the 50 and then gets taken down around the 49 of Aquinas as he was uh, brought down by Shane Willenbring, a six foot five senior. He's gonna play football at South Dakota State next year. And this email says, good luck Colton and the rest of the Cardinals from your cousins, James, Lewis, Dylan, and Jackson. All checking in tonight. Um, we'll get to some more emails here as uh, we move along. Sports at dailydodge.com. This one says, Go Cards and Ray Guerrero, 72 from Papa Mike at home in Columbus. All right, on third and seven, snap back to Powers throwing across the middle. It's incomplete. It was intended for Mowbray. He was sandwiched between a couple of defenders, and I couldn't see if he had hung on to the ball or not, and he did not. Oh, they're calling it a catch. Oh, they are? The ball yes. was on the turf when I saw it, and I saw blue goal players saying, no, that was well, an incomplete pass. Well, you, you, apparently you better, not. You better hope they don't go to instant replay. Well, <laughs> we have instant replay, by the way. Who, uh, who attempted the catch, Mike? Help me out. Well, Mowbray was the okay, intended okay. receiver. Oh, they're calling it incomplete. Okay, that's what I thought, and well, there you go. This email says, sitting in the man cave in Glen Oak, Wisconsin, cooking homemade pizza, cheering on Columbus, Grandma and Grandpa Cotter, Uncle Dan and Finney, and really appreciate the great coverage by Daily Dodge. Go Cards, Johnny Cotter, and the statistician Eric Cotter. Thank you very much for that nice email, folks. We do appreciate it very, very much. We'll get to some more as we get time. Fourth and seven, Columbus has got to punt it. Blue Golds do have a man back deep. Ooh, slow boy. Looks like Burns is back deep. It's a going to take a Columbus bounce inside the 10, inside the 5. It'll be down around the, the three-yard line. There you go. Sometimes. That's how you do it. This is the, the type of uh, thing that really can get you going and can turn a ball game around. And that's a really good punt down to the uh, – they're going to mark it at about the 4, but still, that's awfully good for your uh, defense right there. Hold them here, get yourself good field position, and then uh, put some points on the board just prior to half. This email says, Emmett Schradel says, let's go Columbus. His second cousin is Colton Brunel. He's watching the game on YouTube. Thanks, guys, and you're very welcome, by the way. Cheering on the cards and Riley Kaminsky from Fox Lake. Mike Hoberkorn checking in on first and 10. I know 10. that guy. You do, huh? I do. And, oh, oh my uh -oh. goodness, breaking loose. Uh -oh. Moline to the 10, 15, 20, outside 30. 35, 40, down the right sideline, 50, 40, 30, 20, breaks a tackle, 10, 5, touchdown Aquinas. Moline goes 97 yards for the touchdown. And it's 12-0 Blue Golds with 9.02 to go in the second quarter. Wow. 97 yard run. Incredible. And they're going to go for two. And out of the gun, Thornton has it, fakes a little 
Handoff throws it, and it's incomplete. Two-point conversion <coughs> fails, but it's 12-0 Aquinas. 9.02 to go in the first half, and we'll take a one-minute break. Back in one minute on 95.3 WBEV and Daily Dodge TV. Hi, I'm Josh Schneider with Silica for Your Home. We have a great feature available in our showrooms, our digital price tags. They search the internet every day and allow us to adjust the prices based on our competitors. That ensures you are always getting the best deal. If it finds a lower price, it will automatically change our silica price in real time. These digital price tags are all about saving you time and money. Shop Silica for your home for the best sales, service, and selection. Ten percent off all brand new 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokees and Compasses during the Jeep Adventure Days event at Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Beaver Dam. Hello, this is Brent Reed, and with savings in excess of seven grand on select models, there's never been a better time to upgrade your ride. And that's not all. Fall savings are definitely in the air with ten grand off select Ram Bighorn Crew Cabs while supplies last. Let our family take care of your family at Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Beaver Dam and ReedChrysler.com. Nine oh two to go in the first half. Here's the ensuing kick. Another short bouncer fielded at the 23-yard line to the 30, 35, spinning out across the 40-yard line on the return for Columbus was Connor Roach. But wow, what a play a moment ago as David Moline raced 97 yards to pay dirt. And it gives Aquinas a 12-0 lead. If you're a Columbus fan, the bad news is it's 12-0. The good news is long, long way to go in this game. 8.58 left in the second. And you'd like to hope that those uh, two missed conversions will come back to haunt the Blue Golds. On first and 10 for the Cardinals, give to Brunel. He's capable of a 97-yard run. And this time he's going to pick up maybe six or seven. Check it out here. We're going to give him seven. All right, I was in the ballpark. <clears throat> 8.42 and counting left until intermission. Second what. and three coming Let, up for the Cubs. Let's make it six. My bad. Referees moved it back a yard. They did, and so you're right. After a further review, <clears throat> Lake Country Lutheran leads Houston 7 nothing in the second quarter. He's got that update. I got another one for you. 7-7, seven, seven, Lodi and Xavier. And uh, Brunel straight ahead spins. and Oh, it's a fake. A power's fake. The handoff to Brunel went off the left side and got a first down and more into Aquinas territory to about the uh, 45-yard line or so. A shout-out to number 58, Devin McCormick, watching from home in Fall River. Grandma Pat, Haley, Joan, and Michelle, thanks for broadcasting, <coughs> and thank you very much for that nice email. Let's go, Cards. Do something diesel, number 74, Caden Selji. That's from Katie. Katie Caswell checking in tonight. 747 and counting left in the first half. First and 10 Cardinals at the 44 of Aquinas. Hand off to Brunel this time, and this time no fake, and I didn't have to follow it. Colton Brunel getting to the 42. So that will be a gain of two and second and eight. And uh, this email says, Hi, Haldeman, don't sleep all the way home. Laugh out loud. Go Cards. That's from Matt Galston. <laughs> hey, Big Jer's watching the broadcast tonight. Go Cards. Listening in the car parked somewhere in Beaver Dam, he says. That's from our good friend, <laughs> Big Jer, wherever he is in, in Beaver Dam tonight. He better be following all the laws. Yeah, well, I hope so. Yeah. Second and seven. <laughs> balls on the 41 of Aquinas. Columbus. Second and seven, and a snap back to Powers. He's being flushed out of the out. pocket. He's in trouble. Better get rid of it. Look out. And the ball's loose. They're saying incomplete pass. No, and a, there's a flag down, too, at the end of the play where the quarterback, Powers, was hit. And I'm wondering, are they maybe going to get a late hit here or something? Or We're going to check this out. But I was wondering if it was a fumble, first of all, but they not, are an incomplete pass, and now there's that there's flag out. They're probably calling intentional grounding. Well, that too. Yep, yeah, yep, I mean, yep. You are exactly right. It's intentional oh, right. grounding. And oh. lost it down. Ouch. That's humongous. Ball's all the way back to the 35-yard line. 
Wow, that's over a 20-yard loss. 21-yard loss on that play alone. Ooh. Ouch. All the way back to the 35 of Columbus. Where it's going to be third down and 31. Oh, my. Third and 31 for the Cardinals. Out of the gun powers, two receivers to the left. Hand off Colton, breaks a tackle across the 35 and taken down around the 39. Got maybe about four yards on the play. But a punting situation coming up here. Thus far, the Blue Golds have uh, pretty much kept uh, Colton Brunel under wraps. You know, you take a look at uh, eight carries for 32 yards. For those of you that are good at division, you can get that rather quickly. And uh, that is a very modest four yards a pop, and that's about uh, less than half what Colton Brunel <coughs> normally achieves. All right, so a punting situation. Knock Reiner to kick it away. Burns back deep for Aquinas. Gets the kick away, does Knock Reiner. Burns will make a fair catch at the 25 yard line. 6.04 to go on the half. This email says, we have the honor of having Brady Link's little bro watching from our house back in Columbus. Let's go red. That's from the Justman family. And uh, it says, many thanks to you for giving up your Friday to cover the game. For those who could not make it to lacrosse, you are very, very welcome. It's our pleasure. It's why we do what we do. Uh, this one says, let's go cards from the daughter of everyone's favorite ticket taker and number one plumbing, it says there. All right. We'll get to some more in a moment. Sports at DailyDodge.com. First and 10 Aquinas on their own 25, handing it off. White, and he gets about three. Saving tackle right there. I'll tell you, the big hole. And uh, I think that's Brady Link on a stop. Yep. Brunel Brady was there, too. Second and about seven after a pickup of three, maybe a short three. This email says, go Cardinals, go number 72. Your uncle, aunt, and cousins from <laughs> Nazareth. Pennsylvania, number 72, of course, is Ray Guerrero. Go Cards watching from Kingston tonight, that one says. What's going on up in Kingston tonight? I wonder if that's my, uh, is that my next door neighbor? What's his name? Nope, doesn't look like it. No? I didn't see next, a name on there. Yeah. My old next door neighbor, that could be Mike. Second and seven. Broken play. And broken play, and Burns went straight up the middle, and boy. Found the uh, the footing a little difficult. And did he pick up maybe a yard? I'm going to give him a couple. Yeah, I said probably even two there. Yep. You know, you make a stop here, Tim. You get the ball back. You're only down 12-0. There's, we've got over a half of football left. It, oh, it's, yeah. This one is, I know it's been a tough first half for Columbus, but this game is not over by any stretch of the imagination. And so as tough as it's been, you know, you hang around a little bit. You know, anything can happen. Third and five from their own 30. Blitz. Ooh, and missed. running Thornton throws. Pass Tipped. was tipped by Mowbray. It was intended for Logan Becker, and Mowbray gets the hand on it because if he doesn't, that's probably a completion and a first down. Yeah, exactly, right. That's just, uh, you know, doing your job out there in the flat. Showed really good foot speed and quickness in uh, dropping to uh, make a play on that. All righty, so here you go. Cardinals get the ball back. They're forcing a punt. We need something on special teams. Yeah, here. they really Boys, do. Come a jolt here maybe, huh? 425 left until halftime. Snap back. Len Harris punt. Oh, they use that turf to their uh Yeah, benefit. they do. They didn't... Uh, get the bounce that time as it ends up at the 33-yard line. So no return. Honestly, not a very big punt. That's less than uh, 40 yards, 37-yard punt. This uh, email says, good afternoon. Oh, good evening now, I suppose. Well, uh, wishing the Cardinals the best and cheering the team on, especially my cousin Riley Kaminsky, all the way from Australia. Maybe it's afternoon in Australia right now. Thanks for all you do in broadcasting the games. I love being able to watch the Cardinals play 
from so far away. You are very, very welcome indeed. <clears throat> what else do we have here? Watching from uh, Waterloo, go Cards. That's from Jordan checking in tonight. On first and 10, this is Powers breaking a tackle in the backfield to the 30, right sideline 35 oh, and out of bounds. Oh, that's got to be a penalty. And is there a flag out? Got to be. Well, I don't see a flag, though. Oh, my goodness. He was he was beyond the white. No flag, Tim. Oh, I can't believe that one. That one's just hard to imagine. And so it's going to set up Oof. second down from the 37-yard line. Credit Peyton Powers for uh, – Four yards uh, outrunning the uh, D end initially, but uh, then took a hit over here on the near sideline, which uh, I'm going to guarantee in the NFL that's going to be 15 yards, big time. All right, you got all three of your timeouts, four minutes, 11 seconds, left until halftime. 12 nothing Aquinas, but Columbus got the ball second and eight <coughs> from their own 37. Actually, it's second and about six. Hand up, Brunel, right side 40, breaks a tackle. 45, and he First steps down. out of bounds. Well, that's encouraging. As you mentioned, Tim, Colton Brunel picking up a much-needed first down there for the Cardinals. This one says, let's go Columbus and number 21, Johnny Cotter and statistician Eric. Show Aquinas that you should have been the number one seed. And they're watching from uh, the Man Cave in Glen Oak, Kevin, Mary, Max, and Nellie Soda all watching tonight on the broadcast. You know, all these folks that are hollering at us from so far away in their seasonal homes, yeah. they have to invite us up. I know. Yeah. First and 10 Cardinals on their own 44. Snap back to Powers. Gives it to Brunel straight ahead, 45-50. Breaks the tackle. He's inside the 45 and down near the 41. Well, he got ahead of steam that time. And let's see. They're going to mark it at the 41. Yes, they'll put it at the 41-yard line of Aquinas. Like I said, plenty of time here. 352 and counting. Well, Left until halftime. You get all three timeouts. and I'll tell you, that's the first time that I've seen Colton Brunel. Look like Colton you, Brunel as tonight. As you said, with a head of steam, we got to get him with a lather going, okay? we just got to keep feeding what, uh, what got you here as we got a whistle and a stoppage of play for some unknown reason. Oh, now we're going to start the clock again. Here we go. All right, first and ten. <clears throat> Cardinals now at the 41 of Aquinas. Powers out of the gun. Receivers left and right. Brunel in the backfield. Now they motion a man. That's Roach. He takes the flip. Roach left side following his blocker. Brunel. He's to the oh, 40 and he's taken play. down in a great, Ooh. great defensive play by Tony Miller. Five foot, 10 inch senior defensive back. And that could have gone for a lot more. And instead it goes for no gain. Uh, no gain. Mm. I'll tell you. He went through a bevy of blockers out there. I don't know how he got an angle on it, but he did. And he wrapped up Connor Roach and brought him down. And that's just not an easy thing to do. You got to credit these guys. I'll tell you, they know how to tackle. Second and 10 Cardinals from the 41 of Aquinas. 244 and counting left in the half. Powers to throw. Down the left sideline. Oh, incomplete. It was out of bounds. Intended for Link and... Burns was out there in coverage. Columbus with zero in the passing department. 0 for 3 thus far. That's going to have to change. This email says, go Cardinals and Brady Link. It's Jordan Link here. Brady's older sis watching from East Bristol with the Casper clan. Thank you very much for the email. Do appreciate it. Jordan's one of my favorite Bevcart girls. Okay, out at Kestrel Ridge. Who isn't? Well... Yeah, that's true. Good point. This one says, uh, go Brady Link. We're on the Brady Link train here from your favorite cousin, Lauder Klein, checking in tonight. Sports at DailyDodge.com if you want to check in. Third and ten. Powers again to throw, and Whistles. that play is blown dead. What do we got? It's on Columbus. Five-yard penalty on Columbus. You know, if uh, Columbus is going to do what the doctor orders, they're going to put some points on the board here with uh, nearing two and a half minutes remaining in this first half. But this third and 15 is a bit uh, difficult to say the least, but then we got a timeout on the field. 
Let's take a one-minute break. Back in one minute, Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 WBEV. American drivers overpay an average of $368 per year on their auto insurance. Why? Because, well, insurance is hard. It's complicated. It's time-consuming to get quotes from multiple companies, so we overpay. Or we call Richards Insurance in Beaver Dam. Make one call and receive a quote from a great company like Auto Owners Insurance. The team at Richards Insurance will literally do all the work for you. So if you could be saving money each month with an auto owner's insurance policy, you'll know about it. How much will you save with Richards Insurance? To find out, call Richards Insurance or stop in at 123 North Spring Street, downtown Beaver Dam. With offices in Columbus, Watertown, West Bend, and Oshkosh. With over 50 employees and hundreds of years insurance experience across five offices, you'll get full service counseling with no obligation. Your auto owner's insurance carrier is Richards Insurance in Beaver Dam. Call 887-1615. We'll be there with you. Richards Insurance of Beaver Dam. All righty, after the timeout, third and 15 for Columbus at the 46-yard line of Aquinas. And Powers back to throw. Pressure coming. Escapes it. Steps up, runs, 50, 45, spins, 40, uh, and he's taken down short. there. Boy, I'll tell you, this is a, would be a little risky right here. He gained uh, six on that play. To make it a fourth and nine, roughly. I, I think I'd go for it right here. Boy, at this juncture, yeah, 207 and counting left in the second quarter. 12 nothing Aquinas leading. It's been a struggle offensively all night long, and... Yeah, boy, at this point here because... You know, you're taking a chance. You are. Because if you don't get it, give them it's going to give field them position. A, a good minute and a half to uh, try to get some points on the board to our left. And they've got all three of their timeouts yet. All right, fourth and nine. Cardinals going to go for it from the 40 of Aquinas. Powers to throw. Cross the middle. Got him. Incomplete oh. intended for oh. Knockreiner. Oh. He was wide open across the middle. And Riley not able to come up with that one, and the ball's going to go over on downs to Aquinas with a buck 36 left in the half. Ouch. I thought they did. You said he had him, and he did, but Knockreiner could not well, uh, come I'll up with it. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I think Peyton Powers, if he had to do all over again, you know, he's got a really, really strong right arm. He threw that one about 85 miles an hour. He should have thrown it about 75. Just just because there was so much room. You know, you, you don't have to zip that one in there. Even though it was over the middle, there were no linebackers anywhere near. Just toss it in there. And uh, But anyway, blue First goal First and Aquinas from that their is, own 40. Double pass. Yep, double, double pass. pass. And this is going to be intercepted. intercepted at the 38. Come That's this way. Link to the 50. Attaboy. And so... The quarterback, Thornton, threw a backwards pass to Walter Burns, who then threw another pass, but it was well short, underthrown, and Link picked it off, and that is a huge break for Columbus with a minute 26 left in the half. Two timeouts, still trailing 12 nothing, but they've got the ball again. One nice thing, Mike, about being three stories high, we had a really, really good look and an angle at that initial pass out to the right, it wasn't a pass. It was a lateral because it went backwards. Right, backwards and, pass, And right. that allowed them. Somebody just turned out the lights. I wonder if they're on a, a motion sensor. We, well, well, it's all right. We'll get it. We'll get it. <laughs> First and 10, Columbus from the 48 of Aquinas. Ball's on the left hash. Powers takes the snap. Throwing, oh, and no. I'm not sure what he was looking at there. Is That well, one is the, well out of bounds. There we go. There we go. The lights are back on. Somebody yeah, all I had to bill. do was stand up. And Somebody paid the bill. Yep. Thanks, Mike. But, uh, no, the uh, defensive back just took away the, the long route of the receiver and just got in his way, and uh, the, it wasn't read by Powers, and he just uh, had to throw it away. So. And let's see here. This email says, uh, is it? Jackson from Columbus says, let's go, Cards. I was trying to read that. This one says, hanging at the Opor household, let's go, Cards, tonight. Sports hey, at DailyDodge.com. I, I, I got a text from Jeff Killian and the boys from the uh, 
fire department. Too. Brunel spinning inside the 45, down near the 40, and then he's pushed backwards as he was nearing the 40. I think they're going to mark him forward progress seven. at the 41. That's exactly where they're going to put it. And you are correct, Tim. That's going to be a seven-yard pickup. And a timeout called. I was just thinking to myself, you know, they passed on that first down play, and uh, you, you still can't forget Colton Brunel in the backfield. The, the guy's got breakaway speed, and, and you just give him a, a, a little bit of a door opening, and he's gone. So uh, that was a good choice on that particular play, I thought. This email says, Hello, we really appreciate your use of instant replay. You deliver as usual. Watching from Columbus, that's Lucas and Natalie. Well, thank you don't, for uh, the compliment. Don't blame Mike and me for that. That's, that's all ninja. That's the ninja That's next the door. ninja there. This one says, go cards from the Kehoes, sitting at home in the warmth in the recliner from Troy and Aaron checking in tonight. Thanks for uh, being with us on the broadcast. Nothing, than, nothing better than being a Cardinal. Go cards from Coach Downing checking in tonight. And let's see what else. It says, uh, well, we'll get to some more here in a moment. Sports at DailyDodge.com. You know the drill. A minute and eight seconds left in the half. Balls on the 41 of Aquinas. Third and three, Columbus. With single receivers to each side, Powers will fake the handoff. Play action. Wants to throw. Being chased out of the pocket. Running to the near side. Looking to throw. And just just throws it away. So fourth and three coming up as nobody was open there. And we have an injured player down for Aquinas over at the 28-yard line. So we're going to have to tend to him. Listen to this. Yeah, we're going to tend to him. Listen to this email. It says, we live in lacrosse. My husband is watching the game stream on his phone, and all of a sudden I say, hey, is that Tim Haldeman? Uh-oh. Hey, Tim, this is Janet. Janet, it says in parentheses, Klutzman? Janet. Oh, for Pete's sake. Is it? I'm trying to read it. I just Stalford? talked to Dad. Long time no see. I just talked to Dad like yesterday or the day before. They're doing well, Janet. Great to hear from you. How's your little brother doing? Let me know. This, haven't seen him in ages. This email says, rooting for our cousin and nephew, Riley Kaminsky, and the Seabus team from the University of Virginia in Charlottesville. Go Cards, Will, Tori, and Aunt Jody checking in tonight. Uh, Axel Elaine's aunt is here cheering loud for the Cardinals in Windsor. Let's go, Cards. That's from uh, Nikki. And this one says, go Cards and go Brady Link from his favorite uncle. Checking in on the broadcast tonight. Jason with that email. And let's see here. Um, Houston Con and Lake Country Lutheran are tied at seven apiece in their game. How about that, huh? The winner of that game plays the winner of our game next week in level four. Here we go on fourth and three. Columbus going to go for it. From the 41 of Aquinas, they trail 12 nothing. Do the Cardinals. And the oh, play is sucks. blown dead. What do we got? False start Columbus. Boy, penalties have really been a bugaboo tonight for the Cardinals. Now you got a punt. I mean, Boy, you, it would be oh a my. big. Well, let's see. With a see minute here. left here. You got fourth and eight. I think Columbus is going to punt. This would be pretty risky. Well, and a timeout has been called. We'll keep it uh, right here. Our game tonight brought to you by our presenting video sponsors, Hometown Glass and Improvement and Columbus Family Dental. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Prairie Ridge Health, Mid-State Equipment and Rentals, Duffy Grain, MP's Town Tap, Cardinal Embroidery and Screen Printing, the Columbus High School Drama Department, Columbus Self Storage, McKinstry's Home Furnishings, Kladowski Real Estate, Slumberland, Silica for Your Home, Summit Ford, Beaverdam Tire and Service, and Mayville Tire and Service, Surefire, Richards Insurance, Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, Park Village Shopping Center, Preferred Dental Partners, Jerry's Automotive, Air Care, The Dump in Cambria, and White Construction. Jack is back at the 95.3 Studios engineering the radio broadcast tonight. Ninja and Ember are on site with us, our videographer and engineers. And alongside my good friend and partner, Tim Haldeman, Mike Tronson with you from Roger Herring Stadium, campus of UW Lacrosse. One minute to go, second quarter. Division 5 state quarterfinal, 12-0 Aquinas leads Columbus. And on fourth and eight for Columbus, 
from the 46 of Aquinas. They go for it. Powers to throw. Got a man Got open. Knockrinder makes the catch. He's got a first down near the 30. Oh, they go for it. Big play. What are you looking for, Tim? My what pen. are you looking for? I lost it. What do you mean your pen is <laughs> how do you lose your pen? I don't know. <laughs> I tell you, I gotta bail this guy out all the time, folks. How many yards did we gain on that one? Well, he's down near the 30. Where do they down mark it? The I can't see because I'm trying They're to bail 30, you out. 31. Okay, not Griner. First uh, Took pass it. reception of the night from the, uh, where'd they start? About the 45? 14 yards. 46, I believe. 46, but yeah. 15 yards. I had to grab a new pen since you stole mine. 55 <laughs> seconds left, first and 10. <laughs> Cardinals at the Aquinas 31. Powers again to throw. He's running to the near side, being chased. He's in trouble. He breaks a tackle in the backfield. Throws, it is Ooh. almost intercepted. Almost uh, caught by Columbus first. It went through the uh, would-be receiver's hands of Columbus and then bounced off a, uh, a defender. 46 seconds left in the second quarter. Clock is stopped, and it's going to be second and 10 for Columbus from the 31. Oh, there it is. Ta-da. Oh, folks, if you only knew <laughs> well, what I had to put up with here in the booth. <laughs> well, we're not accustomed to the, uh, the little hole up here in the front of us here. Didn't see it. What would you do without me, Tim? Oh, I mean, well, really? Let me count the ways. <laughs> Second and 10 Cardinals on the Aquinas 31, looking for their first points of the night. Powers with an empty backfield, looking to throw. Now running <sighs> pump fake and throws it away as there was just nobody he could find open, apparently. And, oh, a late hit, but there's no flag. And you hear the Columbus fans maybe oh, Peyton, uh, barking, and Powers Peyton's is down. down too. That looks like he's a shoulder. He's down, and he's sitting. Well, now he gets he's sitting up, and he's being, okay, oh. he's finally up. But I tell you what, maybe could have been a flag there. The, uh, Ooh, the fans here from Columbus certainly what, don't like it. The Columbus coaching staff is out there and absolutely giving it to the uh, officials. I mean to tell you, it is a nonstop uh, giving it to the officials. I don't think I've ever seen, I have never seen Andy that. Selgrad that upset. Oh, oh, is he? And Andy Selgrad is livid, folks. I have never seen him that upset. It's third and 10 for Columbus on the Aquinas 31. 38 seconds left in the half. Still 12 0 Aquinas, but Columbus threatening here. Big play. Powers to throw. Right, uh, left side, I should say it is. Caught! Touchdown, oh. Columbus! There's a flag on the play, <laughs> but Link with a defender all over him hauls it in. Will it stand? If it does, oh, it's yeah. a 31 yard touchdown. And I'm guessing it's probably a pass interference Yep. on the defense. We'll check it out. But what a throw and what a catch by the pass? Link. Who threw the pass? Oh, my goodness. Mike, you got to help me. Who threw the well, pass? Well, it was the Powers, wasn't it? No, he had to go out. It was a new quarterback. We'll have to double check that then. We're going to have to ask Ninja. Powers is out there now. He's the holder for the, the extra point. Well, yeah, but he had to go out for a play because he was injured. He had Did he? to leave the field. Yes. Wow. Well, we're going to have to find out who that is. I don't know. Maybe maybe Ninja, uh, Ninja can show us on the replay the here. Oh, we'll ask the coaching staff at halftime. And now to make it a five-point game. Huge. High snap down by. Oh, oh the kick is blocked. Powers got the. Hold down, but the kick was blocked. So Andler's kick is no good. But it's now 12 to 6, Aquinas. 31 seconds left in the half. We're back in one minute on Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 WBEV. In today's financial markets, you will find all your needs to met at Park you. Village Shopping Center. Time is right for a home equity line of credit. The folks at Horicon Bank can make those home remodel dreams a reality. Searching for sound financial advice? Kevin Smith of Edward Jones will help you make sense of your investments. Kevin knows the market inside and out. Nightberry Title meets all your title needs, from commercial to residential. The team at Nightberry is your partner for success. This is why you hear people say, I shop Park Village Shopping Center. You should too. Park Village Shopping Center. 
At Prairie Ridge Health, we believe that orthopedics is more than surgery. It's about getting your life back. Our collaborative team of expert surgeons, therapists, and nurses work together to get you back to feeling pain-free in your daily life. Our innovative and proven program is designed to get you from hospital to home with confidence. Find out how the Prairie Ridge Health Orthopedic Team can help you at prairieridge.health. Prairie Ridge Health accepts over 70 major insurances, including Dean. Thirty-one seconds left in the second quarter. Luke Call was the uh, quarterback on that touchdown pass, and I didn't even think about it because I'm so used to saying Powers. Didn't even th- realize. Yes, you were right, Timmy. He had to come off for at least one play, and so Luke Call with an amazing pass and an even better catch by Link. Hey, uh, there's apparently a penalty on the somewhere along the way. Well, light. it must have been on the, ki- oh, the, the okay. extra point try. No, no, they're assessing it, it now. No, the, on the initial play, they're, they're oh, taking they're the assessing interference. It now. Uh, now, and Columbus is kicking from the blue gold 45-yard line with 31 ticks left here. I'll tell you what, I would kick an onside kick. Give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. What do you got to lose? I'll tell you what, this last uh, two minutes of this first half – has taken forever. It has. I just had a birthday. I mean, it's been a long time. Oh, I was a lot younger before I knew you. Let me <laughs> let me tell you that right now. Oh wow. Uh, well, I think Aquinas called that timeout. They did because they might be having the same little suspicion that I've got. If I was Columbus, I would absolutely kick an onside kick here. You got absolutely nothing to lose. You might get a bounce off of a of an up guy, and a big deal. They get the ball at the thirty, okay, with uh, twenty five seconds left. Yeah, we got about three or four or five emails after that play saying oh, yeah. number twenty two threw yeah, it, number yeah, twenty two yeah. threw it. Here's the oh, a little pooch, little pooch. Yep, and, and fielded it down near the fifteen. You're right, and uh, that was. I had uh, Tony Jeff, Miller that fielded I, that. I had kick. Jeff Killian and Joe Zander on my case. Tim Ladrin. No Tim Ladrin was on my case. <laughs> Number twenty-two, you, <laughs> you <laughs> stupid guy. What are you thinking here? I'm being I ha- kind, I had by to the way. Convince you that it wasn't Peyton. That's what I had to convince you. Of, first of all, that was a dead given. Well, we're in. Uh, well, we hope we don't see this again. This is victory formation, as they call well, it. Well, yeah, and that's they're just going to be content to. Uh, as uh, Steve go Harvey into the would say, with a six point lead. We got a good one going for you. We do, because we're going to halftime here at Roger Herring Stadium in Lacrosse, with a tight ball game. At the break, Aquinas twelve, Columbus six. Stay with us, folks. This one is far from over. As they say, the second half will be an extravaganza you won't want to miss. Let's take a break. We'll take a four-minute break. Back in four minutes on Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 WBEV. Join the American packaging team and help create packaging for some of the most iconic brands in the world. Sarah says the benefits at American Packaging are fantastic. At American Packaging, we have a great 401k match. They match us 75 cents for every dollar up to 5%. And we get quarterly bonuses if we meet our budget. We get a Christmas bonus. If you've been here five years, you will also get a seniority bonus. Learn more about joining the American Packaging team in Columbus and DeForest by checking out the careers page at AmericanPackaging.com. The teams at Beaverdam and Mayville Tire and Service are growing and adding service technicians and auto lube technicians. Work in a clean shop environment with a fun and friendly team that is committed to excellence and customer satisfaction. Competitive pay based on experience, full benefits, including health, dental, 401k. Join the growing team at Beaverdam and Mayville Tire and Service. Find full job postings on Facebook or visit either location to submit your resume. Cardinal Embroidery and Screen Printing is your source for custom embroidery and screen printing. From t-shirts, hoodies and hats, to polos, dress shirts and jackets, we have everything your local business needs to be noticed and the right gear for athletes and fans. Cardinal Embroidery is proud to work with many area schools and we wish our Columbus Cardinals good luck as they keep their season going. Let's go Cards! 
In a time before Facebook, World of Warcraft, and massive multiplayer online RPGs, there once existed simply a game, Dungeons and Dragons. Tilly Evans dies tragically in a car crash. Her older sister Agnes tries to understand who her sister was through a D&D &D adventure. Join her on her journey at the Columbus High School on Friday, November 10th and Saturday, November 11th at 7 p.m. and Sunday, November 12th at 1 p.m. Are you looking for a safe, secure place to store your extra stuff? Halloween decorations, classic car, boat, or RV? Columbus Self Storage has you covered. Columbus Self Storage has climate and moisture controlled, well lit units open 24 hours a day with a variety of sizes to meet your needs. Conveniently located off of Highway 151 in Columbus. Contact Columbus Self Storage at 608 217 7245 to learn more. Hi, this is Dr. Adam Forster at Columbus Family Dental. If you've been unhappy with your smile, it's time that you come and see us. Our team of doctors are waiting to help you get your smile back. We'll take the time to talk with you and treat you like a member of our family, not just another number. Whether it's a whole mouth makeover or simply a little tweak, we'll find the right solution that fits you. For your free, no pressure consultation, call us today at 623-5559. Duffy Grain has been serving the local agricultural community as a family-owned company since 1928. Duffy Grain provides grain marketing and transportation services with locations in Columbus and Marshall. Visit DuffyGrain.com for market updates, or you can also join the team at Duffy Grain today. Now hiring full-time grain haulers and elevator staff and offering competitive pay with great benefits. Apply online at DuffyGrain.com and click on the careers page. Congratulations, Cardinals, on a great season. The fun doesn't stop when the game clock hits zero. Celebrate your team's sweet victory at the Dump Bar and Grill in Cambria and tackle some mouth-watering appetizers, award-winning juicy burgers, or some crispy wings. The Dump Bar and Grill has it all. And with their newest Annex Edition, enjoy more seating for all fans to gather. Satisfy your hunger and get to the Dump Bar and Grill in Cambria, your go-to spot for great food and good times. TheDumpBar.com, cheering on all our local student-athletes. Halftime here in Lacrosse, and in this Division Five State Quarterfinal, it is Aquinas twelve, Columbus six. Mike and Tim back in the broadcast booth. Ninja, Ember, Jack, all with us on our crew tonight. What a first half, and what an ending! That crazy ending to the first half. And we've got a one-score game. Remember, Columbus does receive the second-half kickoff. Aquinas won the coin flip tonight at the beginning of the game, and they decided to uh, take the ball right away, so Columbus will get the kickoff to start the second half. Again, uh, Columbus is the three-seed in this bracket. Aquinas, the one-seed. Winner moves on to level four next week. And we'll take on the winner of tonight's game between Lake Country Lutheran and Houston. And I'm going to tell you, whoever wins this game is going to be favored in that contest. Well, one would Without think. Without a doubt. Uh, one would think. So why do teenagers play high school sports? Well, some participate for a sense of purpose. Some play to inspire others. Some for the friendships they develop. Very few mention that they participate to get an athletic scholarship because they know that less than 2% of all high school athletes are awarded a sports scholarship. Now, whatever the reason for playing, student athletes enjoy all the benefits of participation, including making better decisions. A message from 95.3 WBEV Daily Dodge and the WIAA, keeping the education in sports. 12-6 Aquinas on top of Seabus at halftime. Let's run down the first half scoring for you. And the only scoring play in the first quarter came with just under three minutes remaining in the frame. With 2.41 to go in the first, it was a three-yard touchdown run for Aquinas's Kyle White. They went for two, but the two-point conversion failed. 6-0 Aquinas led at that point. Then flip ahead to the early second quarter, Two minutes and 58 seconds into period number two. Big, big play. 
It was David Moline of Aquinas ripping off a 97-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion again was tried and failed, so it was 12-0 Aquinas early in the second quarter. There was no more scoring until 31 seconds remained in the half, and that was that big play we were screaming about, the 31-yard touchdown pass, not from Powers to Brady Link, but from Luke Call to Brady Link. The extra point was blocked, but it was 12-6. Columbus was finally on the board, and that's where we stand at halftime. 12-6, your score at the break, Aquinas on top of Columbus. But, uh, yeah, I tell you, it was uh, funny. Uh, all of our viewers were uh, on on Luke Call better than we were, Tim. So uh, maybe uh, maybe we need to bring some of them up here in the booth as spotters. But, uh, who? I mean, reg- irregardless of who threw that touchdown pass, that was huge for Columbus, and they're right back in the game. Well, it was a uh, an incredible play. There were two defenders, and uh, credit Brady Link down there, who actually outfought a couple of defenders for that football over there on the uh, far side of the football field, uh, right about the three-yard line. And as uh, was uh, indicated at the time, he was also interfered with. So uh, Columbus even though that uh, pass would have gone incomplete, if it had, they would have had a 15-yard gain on the penalty. But uh, needless to say, the uh, touchdown is uh, providing Columbus with a little bit of momentum here at halftime. And very honestly, uh, Mike, in taking a look at the uh, the stats, they, they needed that momentum. Uh, they've been held on the ground tonight, 19 carries for 83 yards, and Colton Brunel, 11 carries for 63 uh, I've got him for 129. I just checked with Eric Cotter down on the field. He's got 152 for Columbus. So somewhere along the way we vary, but he's uh, had a little problem with his uh, app on his computer of late, and uh, who knows, my computer could be wrong also, which is located on my shoulders, unfortunately. It's called your noggin. <laughs> and uh, the Blue Golds, who uh, were up 12-zip prior to uh, the uh, late touchdown by Columbus, 19 carries in the ground for 179, one for seven through the air for 23 yards, a total of 202 yards. Columbus, uh, as I uh, go back to their passing stats, Columbus two for eight for a total of 46 yards and a touchdown. So a total of 129 is what I have for Columbus and uh, 202 for (coughs) the uh, Blue Golds from Aquinas. And uh, uh, let's face it, you can't take the 97-yard uh, touchdown run by uh, David Moline uh, off the scoreboard. But uh, if you could, this would be as close as you could possibly get in a high school football game. And Columbus comes out, gets the second-half kickoff, and uh, for the most part, uh, does not appear as though the kicking game is real uh Real good for Aquinas, so one would expect Columbus with some pretty good field position to begin the second half. Let's get to some more emails here. 12 6, Aquinas leads Columbus at halftime. Ben Emler watching from Platteville. Go Cards. Thank you very much for the email tonight. Uh, very proud of my son, 74, Caden Diesel Selgi. Do something! Exclamation point. Go Cards. <laughs> Thank you very much for the uh, email tonight. Let's see what else we have here. Cheering on Riley Kaminsky and the rest of the cards. That's from Mark and Leanne. They're uh, tuned in to the broadcast tonight. Go cards from the Columbus Fire Department. Hey, all the uh, folks down at the Columbus Fire Department are tuned into the broadcast, and uh, that's awesome. Thanks for all you do, folks down there. Uh, Let's go Brady Link and Jeff Mowbray from your fave Brindley with an email tonight checking in. Let's see what this one says. Brady Link is like a Swiss Army knife. You guys said it a couple of weeks ago. That's from his favorite uncle, Geigs. Okay, I called you Jason last time. You'd rather be called Geigs? All right, I'll call you Geigs. That's good. Sorry about that. Let's see what else we got here. Sometimes I go through these really fast. I I don't catch things right away. Uh, Let's see here. Nice touchdown, Columbus. Now build on that in the second half. That's from Matt, and it says, uh, hi, Tim and Justin. It doesn't say hi, Mike, so I guess I don't count. That's okay, Matt. That's all right. I forgive you. Oh, that's, a little. Uh, that's Matt Galston. Matt Galston, yep. Because he graduated from high school, I think, with, uh, yep, uh, ninjas over there yep. shaking his head. And uh, Matt, I was just I, teasing I have you. lunch with uh, 
Matt, uh, usually about once a week, I see him at the, the local diner, downtown Waterloo. I had to give him a hard time, even though my, my feelings were, were truly hurt there. But uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just teasing. All right. Hey, here's a nice email. It says, I'm enjoying your call on the live stream from work tonight. I hope Columbus can keep the momentum from that great score before halftime. Go red and white. That's from our good friend P.J. Oswald. You know him better as a basketball coach over at Wayland Academy in Beaverdam. Oh, yeah. he, uh, he's worked uh, over there at Wayland for many years uh, along with my wife and, and uh, an all-around nice guy. PJ, Always been a gentleman P- PJ, to me. P.J., I keep saying it, but you and I got to play golf again here one of these uh, Ooh, one of these tomorrow, days. It's been a long time. Tomorrow you got a chance. Well, you Join and I are us. playing tomorrow, right? Well, yeah, we got come room? on, P.J. We're playing Trapper's Turn tomorrow yep. in the Dells. Yeah. Tomorrow afternoon. Let's go. Uh, let's see what be else there, we got be here. Be there, be square, PJ. I'll uh, teach you all about officiating, and you can teach me about coaching. <laughs> <laughs> this email says, uh, Go Columbus. Great catch, Brady Link, from Great Aunt Faye checking in tonight. So thank you very much, Aunt Faye, for that email. Uh, this one says, uh, Maybe better luck for Otto Andler in the second half. Well, yeah, it happens. You know, things get blocked. Uh, that's from Bobby Skalitsky in Windsor, uh, cousin of Otto's dad. And says, Mike and Tim, keep up the great work. Thank you very much. We do appreciate that. Uh, fire up, boys. Cheering on Jordan Reuter and the team from home in Sun Prairie. Kim and Lance, class of 2004. Are both of you class of 04 or just one of you? It just says Kim and Lance. I'm assuming both of you are. Were you high school sweethearts? Class of 2004? I'm just asking. I'm just having fun. Again, if you want to send us an email, sports at dailydodge.com. Sports at dailydodge.com. I don't know. Ask Ninja. Well, you did might you see know. Those, did you see those two in the hallways back in uh, Columbus High? He's saying what? No, I can't. I can't hear him. But he doesn't know. Who he they doesn't are. know. No, uh, he, they were under. He's shrugging. Man. He didn't care. Well, what we know right now is we're going to take a break. Let's take a four-minute break. <laughs> back in four minutes, Daily Dodge TV, 95.3 WBEV. Cheer! Now, cheer louder. Any accomplishment worth doing is worth doing with all your heart and soul. The entire team at Hometown Glass and Improvement knows that dedication, time, and respect can lead to greatness. When practicing free throws, running for a touchdown, or installing new windows and doors, it's a commitment to something larger than oneself that creates a legacy. So keep cheering for your hometown team. Hometown Glass and Improvement, online at hometownglass.com. Jerry's Automotive in Beaverdam is a champion of our local schools. Team up with Jerry's Automotive by pumping your gas at their Spirit Pump, where two cents of every gallon is donated to a local school each month. Jerry's Automotive also provides exceptional vehicle service and repairs and a great selection of convenience items. Visit Jerry's Automotive Center WI.com and on Facebook. Jerry's Automotive, 700 North Spring Street in Beaverdam, across the street from Beaverdam Food Pride. Is selling your home like a walk in the park? If you are in Central Park at 2 a.m., maybe. Chris Kladowski, Kladowski Real Estate. When it is time to sell, be it due to loss or love, growth or downsizing, staying near or going far, there are three basic steps. List it, sell it, move on. The steps are made simple by working with a trusted real estate advisor. Our family team is with you every step of the way, making those three steps as smooth and fun as possible. Kladowski Real Estate. We look forward to serving you. Hi, this is Sandy from McKinstry's Home Furnishings in downtown Beaver Dam. We are proud to support all Beaver Dam athletes. While at home watching high school sports, why not be comfortable? McKinstry's is a Lazy Boy comfort studio. We have sofas, recliners, sectionals, and reclining sofas. Stop into McKinstry's Home Furnishings in downtown Beaver Dam and add comfort to your home. Mid-State Equipment and Rentals in Columbus congratulates the Cardinals on another fantastic season. Mid-State Equipment has lifts available for rent, great for tree trimming and holiday decorating, and building repair and maintenance. Mid-State Equipment has a nice selection of still products, including many battery-operated units like chainsaws and leaf blowers. Get ready for the winter with a new Aaron's Snowblower. Mid-State Equipment can also service your Bobcat and John Deere equipment. Learn more at midstateequipment.com. As always, go Cardinals. 
come on over to MP's Town Tap at 153 North Ludington Street in Columbus for hearty homemade soups, fresh pizza made to order, and burger patties hand padded to perfection each morning. Enjoy daily specials like Taco Tuesdays or Saturday's Juicy Prime Rib, and events like free darts and pool on Tuesdays or bingo on Wednesdays. Like them on Facebook or call 920-623-4527 for their hours and to learn more. Go Cards! In today's financial markets, you will find all your needs met at Park Village Shopping Center. Time is right for a home equity line of credit. The folks at Horicon Bank can make those home remodel dreams a reality. Searching for sound financial advice? Kevin Smith of Edward Jones will help you make sense of your investments. Kevin knows the market inside and out. Nightberry Title meets all your title needs, from commercial to residential. The team at Nightberry is your partner for success. This is why you hear people say, I shop Park Village Shopping Center. You should too. Park Village Shopping Center. At Preferred Dental Partners, our core values are more than just something we put on our wall. There's something we live out. Core value number two is the wow experience. This means that from the moment you walk in the door until the time you leave, we want to provide an experience for our patients that is unlike anything you've had before. There are lots of choices of dentists, and we never want anyone to feel they have to be here. We want them to choose to be here because they feel heard, welcomed, and well cared for. If you want to see what the wow experience is about, call or text Preferred Dental Partners today. Well, the question has been answered. Kim emailed me again and says, we are both class of 2004 and high school sweethearts. Kim and Lance are high school sweethearts, and I, I, I appreciate you letting me know because I was curious, and I can just imagine the happy life you've had over these last uh, almost 20 years and probably got the house with a white picket fence and 2.5 kids and... <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful life, and I hope you're enjoying this broadcast because I'm enjoying reading these emails. And you know what? And speaking of true love, I tell you what, lacrosse is near and dear to Ninja's heart because uh -oh. you were living here right after you first got married, right? When you and your wife no, got married, they got married here. Well, you got married in lacrosse, yeah. 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 And uh, so, and you, uh, you, your firstborn was here, right? So yeah. you lived here for what about a year and a half, two years, something like that. Here we go. Kick Here's off. the kick. Yep. There's a football game going there on. There is. Mike. Okay. Uh -oh. Back to live action. And uh -oh. the ball <laughs> going to be this picked up not good. near the five. Not good. And Colton Brunel, boy, just nowhere to go. Ouch. Well, back to reality here. Well, back to my uh, discussion of having good field position to begin the second half. Eight yard line. And by the way, we got an update uh, from the assistant coaches next door. Landon Schultz is uh, out for the night. If you recall, he was injured earlier. He's got an elbow injury. He's done for the night. And uh, But uh, Peyton Powers will be at the helm here to begin the second half at the quarterback spot. All righty, so it's first and ten for Columbus, deep in their own territory. They're on their own eight-yard line. Two receivers to the near side. Powers out of the gun, hands it. Nope, fakes the handoff. Left side he goes, 10, 15, and he's got a first down out near the 20. Had me fooled. Well, that time I didn't get fooled because usually <laughs> that, that does fool me. That, not this time. So it's going to be a first down for Powers in Columbus as they'll mark him at the 19. So it was a gain of 11. And a nice run there on first. Because, yeah, he's gotten me a couple times over the last few weeks with that play. Not this time, buddy. The play-by-play -play guy got one right for a change. Who gave you the caffeine? I tell you, I haven't had, I've I just been drinking know. water. Okay. Whoa. First and ten. I hate to see you with caffeine. I don't know what's in the water, but here's a handoff to Brunel. No fake this time. Brunel left side trying to turn the corner. Just can't do it. Wow. Good pursuit. And he was chased out of bounds by Tony Miller on that play. Just he could never two. quite get to the edge. Hey, this email says, where can I enjoy your radio broadcast after tonight, regardless of the outcome? He says, you two are way better than Aikman and the other dude on television. I'm serious. <laughs> From Dan. <laughs> Dan, thank you very much. I don't know how much well, Tim I'll, paid I'll, you to say I'll, that, but it was I'll very tell nice you what, of you. And, and our salaries are about equal as well, you know, because our agents have renegotiated right. for us. Of late. Second and eight from the 21 after a gain of two. Columbus moving left to right, third Whoa, quarter. Look out. Brunel, boy, just no loss to go. Two. Yeah, lost a couple there. Back to the original line of scrimmage at the 19. 
And so that's going to bring up a third and ten. This email says, let's go cards. Let's get them in the second half. 1982 graduate Ed Pavlovsky in Juno. A shout-out to my quarterback, Tommy. Tommy Maloney. All right, what else do we got here? Matt Galston says, sorry, Mike, I, I just know Tim and Justin. Maybe someday Tim will have to treat you to lunch and meet me at the diner in Waterloo. I'll buy. Still go cards for Matt. Matt, thank you very much. And I was just teasing you, by the way. I wasn't really <laughs> upset, but I was having fun with you. All right, third and 10, Columbus from their own 19. And the faking the handoff powers. Play action, throws, tip, intercepted. intercepted. God. Aquinas picks it off. It was deflected. And making the pick was Brady Lenhair, and he got it off the deflection. Well, that's good football. That's just good defense by Aquinas. Give him, the, give him credit for it. Uh, Brady Link over the middle. He got popped just at the time the ball arrived. The ball goes up in the air, some three yards forward, and boom. Who's there but the linebacker to pick it off? First and 10, 24-yard line. Well, that's not what the doctor ordered. No, it's By not. any stretch of the imagination. Where the defense needs to come up with something mighty big here. Well, we know their kicking game is not very strong. So, uh, field goal is hopefully out of the uh, question. First and ten. Hand off. White breaking tackles. Bouncing uh -oh. to the outside. Spins inside the 20 near the 19. Brunel actually was the one to take him down. That's a pickup of five yards to the 19. <laughs> second and five, Aquinas on the Columbus 19. Aquinas moving right to left with a minute and a half gone in this third quarter. They lead it 12-6. They're threatening to add to the lead right here after the interception. Thornton giving it to White, and not much that time off the right side. He got a yard. White picked up a yard, as Tim mentioned. And it will bring up third down and about four to go. Good luck, Jefferson, this email says, from Janelle, Tracy, Brea, Charlie, and Chula. All checking in. All right, third and four. And faking the handoff for Thornton. And he's not going to go anywhere. In fact, he's going to lose a yard, maybe two. Now, this is four-down territory, obviously, but it's fourth and about seven. Well, it's, uh, Let's see. Six and a half. All right. But who so goes it's a short fractions? seven or a long six. You take <laughs> your pick. Here we go. On fourth and seven, they go fourth. From the 21 of Columbus, Thornton looking to the sideline for instructions. Thornton's still looking over there. Timeout. Timeout. So you could tell there was yeah, confusion. Yes, in the there was. Mind. So that'll stop things here with 9-10 to go in the third quarter. And uh, we'll keep it right here. Let's get to some more emails. Good luck, Columbus Cardinals and Colton Brunel from cousin Christina and Caitlin, who are streaming from Door County. They say beat Aquinas. What else do we have here? Can't be there tonight, so watching the broadcast, cheering on the cards from the American Family Children's Hospital. Oh, my. Go cards. That's from Al and Addie Osgood. I hope everything's okay. Let's see here. Go cards from Waterloo. Easton checking in. Easton, Easton Ellis? Easton Ellis, yes. Oh, my goodness an email gracious. There. Boy, we're getting everybody. We are. Let's go Cardinals watching from home in Columbus. Brandon and Jameson, they're tuned into this one tonight. And let's see. Hey, Tim Haldeman from your favorite former Columbus basketball player. Hope all is well. Go Cards from Samantha Zimmerman, formerly Samantha Seltzner. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, all right, yeah. here we go. Big play. So the Seltzner family yep. is. Fourth and seven. Right. Something else. Aquinas right. on the Columbus 21. Here we go. Out of the gun. Low snap. Thornton fakes the handoff. Throws. Oh, it wide is open. Oh, incomplete. My oh, and the my receiver goodness. was wide oh. open. Knockreiner was the nearest defender, but the throw was oh. off the mark intended for Miller, oh. and that is a huge turnover on downs for the Columbus defense. They keep the deficit at six. How big was that sequence there? Dodging a bullet is an understatement because that guy 
had nobody close to him, and uh, the quarterback just playing rush the throw. Just totally rush the throw for no reason whatsoever. He had all day to throw that ball up in the air and have that guy run underneath it. First and 10 Cardinals from their own 21, moving left to right. The motion man is Roach, and they're going to hand it to Brunel. Straight ahead through a hole. He's out across the 25 and taken down shortly thereafter. Gain By the a, way, I'm sorry, go ahead, Tim. Gain of five on that play. Gain of five, and uh, I got a score update. Lake Country, Lutheran, and Houston are still tied at seven apiece in their Division Five state quarterfinal. The winner of that one plays the winner of our game next week in level four. 8.39 to go and counting here in the third period. And if Columbus plays, we wouldn't know what to do with a short commute. No, we wouldn't. No. Second and five Cardinals from their own 25-yard line. Ball just actually across the 25. Snap back to Powers. He ends it up holding Brunel. 30. There he, he goes. He goes. He's to the 35, 40, 45, 50, and driven out of bounds near the 45-yard line of Aquinas. And penalty a, flag a penalty on the flag, a very late flag. Well, I'll tell you what. That, that late hit across the way, you know, a little bit of lobbying by the coaching staff near the end of the first half when there were a couple of uh, possible would-be late hits. The lobbying may have paid off. Yeah, because in the first half, right before that Columbus touchdown pass, and they're getting the call right now. 28-yard gain on yep. the play and add 15 on the penalty. Ball placed at the 31-yard line. I had never, I told you at the time, I had never seen Andy Selgrad as oh. livid as I saw him oh. at the end of the first half. I've never seen any coach. football coach yeah, he in was, my entire life. He was life. out on the field. Never. First and 10. I've been doing this a long time, folks. Cardinals have the ball on the Aquinas 31. Look at this. They're on the 31 of Aquinas, marching now. Hand off Brunel and very short yards, maybe a yard there or two. We'll see. Oh, I'm going to give him three. You are? Well, you're yeah. more generous than I am. Well, don't call me a liberal, whatever you do. Uh, I've called you a lot of things in my day, Tim, and that's not one of them. So. <laughs> All righty, so 7.55 and counting left. I love you, pal. I really do. <laughs> 7.50 and counting hey, we left. we talked a little third. politics well, on the way up today. That was uh, all Which good. is rare for me because yeah. I, ver I very rarely ever talk that. <laughs> Second and seven after a gain of three. Ball's on the 28 of Aquinas. Two receivers to the left. Out of the gun, Powers has it. Giving it to Brunel uh, and just, tough no, just not tough sledding. You bet. He got a couple. I'll let you determine how many this time since I was you were having none of me last time. <laughs> All oh right, Brunel, my. 17 carries for 101. Been held in check all night until that uh, most recent, uh, let's see, what did he have? 68. He had a 28-yard gain on that play. Hey, and guess who just checked in? Oh, boy. this Karen Krako. Hey, I know that young lady. Used to be called Porch. Karen Brisky back in the oh, day. Oh gosh, yeah. I'll read the email in a second oh, here. Yeah, it's a good I'm one too. Looking forward to this. All right, it's third and five, Columbus at the twenty-five of Aquinas. Here is a fake. Oh, fake. Oh, Powers. Looks good. He's to the oh. twenty, and he's out of bounds. First down. He should have it. Yep, at the nineteen-yard line. Yep, he six. did. So a six-yard pickup and a fresh set of downs with 6.48 to go in the half, in the third quarter, I should say. We're having breakfast in Portage on Sunday morning. Karen's invited. Okay. And All her right. husband, too, right? Yes. Chris? Yeah. Yeah, she says, Mike and Tim, we love your broadcast. Come on, cards. You got this. And she says, P.S., will you guys make a guest appearance again at a PHS track <laughs> oh, practice? Oh, heaven's sake. So yeah. great that that happened. And, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm game if you are. Well, of course, if we have a you game did, You gave the speech, though. Yeah, I was just yeah, in the yeah, background. Yeah. So. Oh, that, I love doing that kind I'm, of stuff. See, I'm, I'm just the, uh, the window dressing is all I am. <laughs> First and 10. Cardinals on the 19 of Aquinas. Marching to try and tie the game, maybe even take the lead. Brunel takes the handoff. Left side, 20. Oh, and well, he is driven out of bounds. Boy, it's been tough all night long. Good pursuit by Aquinas as he's pushed out of bounds over on that far side of the field. Uh, Moline, I believe, knocked him out. Do we have a penalty on the play? I don't there, see a flag. There's a stoppage. What do we got? A loss of two on the play. Hold. Oh, let's see. What do we got here? A loss of three on the play, actually. Second and uh, 13. Mike, I, I honestly don't know what the delay is. 
Peyton Powers over at the uh, bench getting uh, the play and returns to the huddle, and it's just a loss of three. I don't, I don't know what the delay was. Somebody got to help right. me on Ball's that. Ball's at the 22-yard line. On. Xander and Killian, you two guys, you got answers for everything else. Let me know. Second and 13, Columbus on the Aquinas 22. Here's Powers looking to throw. And being oh. chased out of the pocket. Jeepers. He better get rid of it, and he throws. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Oh, he had a man in the end zone. There one was a on man, one. yeah. One on one. I, you know, I might have, uh, if, if he could have, gotten it that far it might have been difficult to have thrown the ball some 35 yards on a dead run this email says cheering on the cards and nephew riley knockreiner from destin florida stacy stacy hall checking in on the broadcast tonight this one says aunt ann and uncle bill like how you're coming back after the half now let's play hard and get the victory sports at dailydodge.com is where you'll find us tonight if you'd like to chime in with an email before the end of the game, 6.34 to go, third quarter. Third and 13, Columbus on the 22 of Aquinas. Flag is out before the ball's even snapped. What do we got? We have what? That's the question. The white hat threw the flag. Now discussing it with the official on the near sideline. And it's it's on Aquinas. It's on Aquinas, apparently. Yeah. Columbus fans are making some noise down below us. Uh, it's a pretty healthy penalty. Unsportsmanlike. Down to the seven. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Aquinas. Wow! Whoa. And this turns a third and thirteen. Ooh. into a third and about two from the 11-yard line. That is a huge, huge penalty. And now Columbus with a third and two on the 11 of Aquinas. Here we go. Wow, what, what happened there? But that's just, I'm, I'm shaking my head. Well, the, the uh, official just respotted the football. On the left from, hash From there. the center of the field to the left hash. Now, I don't know if, we, if Columbus requested that. Here we go. Third and two, Columbus on the Aquinas 11. Hand off Brunel. Second oh, effort. He may have the first down. I think, I think he does. It. He's got it. He's got it because he needed to get to the nine. He got yep. to about the eight. And it's going to be first and goal for the Cardinals. Seabus with a first and goal. They've got a chance not only to tie but to take the lead. First and goal from the eight, six, 20 and counting. Left in the third quarter. And just a moment ago, after that interception by Aquinas, when they had it in, in the red zone, things weren't looking so good for Columbus. Now, my oh my, things have changed. All right, on first and goal for the Cardinals, from the eight-yard line, two receivers to the right. Powers giving it to Brunel. Through a hole, inside the five, on his feet, dives. Touchdown, Columbus! Colton Brunel up the middle from eight yards out. And with 5.57 to go in the third quarter, we are tied at 12 with a conversion try pending. Colton big. Brunel with a big, big run. Eight yards for the touchdown. And now the extra point attempt to give Columbus the lead. Come on. This is Otto Andler. Last one was blocked. Snap back. Hold down. Kick is up. Plenty of leg. It's yes. good. 13 to 12. Columbus with its first lead of the night. We're taking a one minute break. Back in one minute. 95.3 WBEV and Daily Dodge TV. At Prairie Ridge Health, we believe that orthopedics is more than surgery. It's about getting your life back. Our collaborative team of expert surgeons, therapists, and nurses work together to get you back to feeling pain-free in your daily life. Our innovative and proven program is designed to get you from hospital to home with confidence. Find out how the Prairie Ridge Health Orthopedic Team can help you at prairieridge.health. Prairie Ridge Health accepts over 70 major insurances, including Dean. 
At Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Beaver Dam, we are a second generation family owned business that has been in the Beaver Dam community for over 25 years. Our goal is to make the process of buying a vehicle fun again. No pressure, no hassle, just quality customer service from our friendly and experienced sales staff. So give us an opportunity the next time you're in the market for a new or pre-owned vehicle. The worst that can happen is we shake hands and part as friends. And if you catch us on the right day, you can enjoy one of mom's amazing homemade cookies. Let our family take care of your family at Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and Beaver Dam. And the ensuing kickoff, and it's going to be fielded at the 28 of Aquinas by Kyle White. Mike, uh, explain the penalty just moments ago the unsportsmanlike against the uh, Aquinas team for unsportsmanlike the first time you and I have ever heard this one oh you go okay. ahead and tell him okay. tell him air horn penalty against the fans an air horn penalty there's no noisemakers allowed at these games and these officials apparently are going by the book. And this, hey, in this the direction defense play, fired up. defense is fired up, and that's Moline, oh, but he's... No, no, hey, the other guy had the football. <laughs> we were watching the wrong guy. No, David Moline was the ball carrier, too. Oh, okay. I, well, I, I make mistakes, but okay. not on that one. Okay, yeah. but he got a, a, he got a, yard. a yard gain, but I was watching the other guy. Yeah, because you called the fake. for a loss, yeah. Yep, so that's, that's why. No, it was a yard pickup. And we, uh, yeah, the player was slow to get up. That's Moline's uh, shortest run of the night at one yeah. yard gained on that play. He's now got six rushes for 139 yards and a score. Second and nine for Aquinas on their own 29, 534 and counting left in the third. Trips to the right. And they hand it off to White. Straight ahead, a big hole, 30, oh. 35 to the outside, 40. Oh Cut boy. back, 45. He's to the 50, 45 near sideline, 40. Down to the 35 of Columbus. Oh, my goodness. He got a big hole, and he was off to the races. 37-yard gain. Ouch. And just like that, Aquinas with a first and 10 on the Columbus 34-yard line, 518 and counting left in the ball in the third quarter. Here we go. On first and 10. Trap. And this is Moline again, up the middle for a few. Three. Correct. To the 31, where it'll be a second and seven. Joe Zander just emailed, says, let's go see bus. A shout out to Danny Brisky. You still in the combine, buddy? <laughs> Get that corn off, Kenny. Kenny is wondering what is taking so long. Go Cards. <laughs> uh, Joe, you never, you never fail to to uh, amaze us with your emails. Second and seven. Snap oh, and penalty. that play is blown dead. That's going to be five on the offense. False start. False start on Aquinas. Let's see here. Uh, this uh, email. Says, let's go Columbus. Watching from Casco, Wisconsin. Dane Shep checking in uh, tonight. I remember him. I uh, officiated that guy. I got an email from somebody here not too long ago. It said that I've been officiating longer than they have been alive. That's probably I true, wouldn't doubt it. True for a lot of people. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> this email says, you bought the whole seat, but you only need the edge. Go cards, go. <laughs> Colton and Taylor Lysis checking in tonight. All right, on second and 12, Aquinas at the Columbus 36. Back to throw Thornton right side. Caught. That is at the 28-yard line. Caught by Logan Becker. Eight-yard gain. Yep. That's only the second completed pass of the night for Aquinas. 3.56 and counting left in the third quarter. 13-12, to 12, Columbus now leading, but Aquinas driving. They've got a third and a short five or a long four. Take your pick from the 20, just shy of the 28-yard line of Columbus. Snap, and they hand it off to White. Straight ahead, just nothing happening. He Ooh, is going to get taken down. He got, couple, well, though. he did get a couple. Yeah, he did. About two on the play. And four down territory here with 322 and counting left in the third. One point ball game, Columbus up 13 to 12. 
Yeah, I'm on the edge of my seat. I don't know about you guys back home, but I've got this beautiful office chair in here in the press box. I'm only using part well, of it. I, I'm sort of st stacked in here well, like yeah, a you're kinda, you got I the wrong side I of the stick I there. I can't go anywhere here. It's all right. But it is pretty good. good Fourth digs. and two. Fourth and two, Aquinas Nobody's on the Columbus 26. And Columbus we... called a timeout. Oh, wow. Reason being is there was an end line lined up here on the near side, and there was nobody out there on him. And he's out there waving his arms saying, hey, QB, I'm out here. Nobody's on me. And uh, finally, Riley Knockreiner was coming out there, but Columbus, the bench area, saw it. And I wonder if the uh, – the assistant coaches next door are probably wired down to uh, the guys on the sideline and said, we got a problem, and you better call a timeout quickly. So you hope that, that uh, calling that timeout uh, prematurely here before the end of the game doesn't come back to haunt you. This email says, let's go see bus. Hopefully you guys are warm tonight, and we are. Say hi to Mike Briggs for me. That's from Tony Balwig. Tony Balwig checking in on the broadcast tonight. Let's see here. Uh, hey, my wife, of all people, my wife Amy emailed. She's listening to the broadcast. Says, when I was a young band director, my band got a technical once from making too much noise at a basketball game, so the air horn penalty does not surprise me. Well, honey, hey, I just touched your listening. I just got one from my good friend John love you, Titus. Love you, honey. John Titus. Go cards from Coach Titus. Man, that guy gave us some thrills. Back in the day. Oh, yeah. Fourth and Great to two. hear from you, John. Fourth and two Aquinas on the Columbus 26. 2.51 left in the third. Thornton out of the gun. No, he direct snapped it ready to White. Oh, he White got right it. side, he and got he it. got the first down. Extra yard to yeah, spare. They did a little, the Wildcat again there as White. It, their numbers are so similar, sometimes it's hard to tell. But White took the direct snap, and he got <laughs> three yards. And the drive is still alive. For Aquinas, late here in the third quarter. Yeah, somebody else emailed that there was a, an air horn penalty because they had gotten a warning initially, but they kept it up. Misdirection and Malene point. Just, boy, you can't bring the guy down. Every time he touches that ball, he, got four he down is the so powerful. He just drags the pile with him time after time after time. We talk about uh, Colton Brunel being tough to bring down. David Moline is he's a beast, that guy. Go Cards, we love you. That's from the Muddy Beavers ATV Riding Club in Columbus checking in tonight. Sports at DailyDodge.com. Doing my best to keep up with all these, these emails, uh, folks. I'm getting some text from... Uh Steve and Marianne Gates as well. Second Thanks, and guys. six. Second and six, Aquinas on the Columbus 19. And they snap it again to direct White. Snap. Yep, direct snap to White. Gets near the 15 and then pushed back. They're going to mark him at the 15. So that's a gain of four, and it's going to set up now a third down and about two to go. Cheering on Columbus from Orono, Minnesota. Good luck, Luke, it says. Thank you very much for checking in with us tonight. A shout-out to Axel Elaine. Let's go defense. Watching from DeForest. That's from Gramps Elaine checking in tonight. Let's go Seabus, number one Roach, number 11 Hacked. Our neighbor timeout. boys, Liz timeout. and Bill. Timeout Aquinas. And timeout Aquinas and... Uh, we will take a one-minute break. We're back in one minute. Daily Dodge TV, 95.3 WBEV. Hi, I'm Josh Schneider with Silica for Your Home. We have a great feature available in our showrooms, our digital price tags. They search the internet every day and allow us to adjust the prices based on our competitors. That ensures you are always getting the best deal. If it finds a lower price, it will automatically change our Silica price in real time. These digital price tags are all about saving you time and money. Shop Silica for your home for the best sales, service, and selection.
Hey, it's Stacy with Slumberland, Beaver Dam in Watertown. Stop in and see everything that our store has to offer. We built it just for you. We have mattresses, box springs, power bases, bedroom sets, furniture, living room sets, dining sets, everything that you would need to complete your entire home. We've got our interest-free financing and a really great local staff here to help you. So you've got all local people here to help you out from start to finish for anything that you would need. So stop in, shop local, and save big with us. Reverse. Oh, boy. Third and two and a reverse, and they're going to get a first down out of this. Seven. Oh, they gave David Moline on the carry. Mowbray pushed him out of bounds. And it's going to be first and goal for Aquinas. The ball is going to be placed at the six-yard line of Columbus. We have 53 seconds left in the third quarter. 13-12, Columbus leads right now, but that lead in jeopardy. First and goal. Blue Gold's on the C-Bus six-yard line. Thornton. Gives it to White straight ahead, Nothing. and maybe a yard. We'll see. It depends on yeah, the he spot. Got a yard. He did get a yard, but not much more than that. Colton Brunel helping to uh, bring him down. Go cards from their number one fan, Jordan Dowman. Thank you for the email. Second and goal, Aquinas. They're on the Cardinal five, 24 seconds left in the third. It's direct snap to White. He's going to run with it through a hole inside the five. Pushback. Wow, he got through a hole, but then there was there were white jerseys all they're, over they're the place to the push three. him back. Yeah, they gave him forward progress to the, well, is it the, uh, they're, they're marking it back, Tim. It's around the four. Third and goal for the Blue Golds at the four-yard line. Well, now the scoreboard says three, so I, <laughs> yeah, it's I can't win. Uh, it's closer, closer to, the to the four, right. It is. Timeout. What do we got? Are we Oh, the end of the quarter. End of the quarter. After three, it's 13-12 Columbus on top. We're back in one minute on 95.3 WBEV and Daily Dodge TV. At Summit Ford Beaver Dam, we are committed to serving the customers in our community, to bringing you into our dealership and making the buying process easy, fun, stress-free, and memorable. Thank you for choosing us and voting us Dodge County's best place to buy a new or used vehicle. Stop in today for a test drive and to see how we can help you find the car of your dreams. Summit Ford Beaver Dam. The comfort in your home is too important to trust to just anyone. With over 75 years in the industry, Surefire Heating and Air Conditioning is proud to bring our community the heating and cooling services you deserve. Expect nothing short of excellence in service, installation, and 24-7 emergency service. As a premier Lennox dealer, we carry the best in equipment to bring you and your home peace of mind. Schedule your annual maintenance or claim your free in-home estimate today, 920-485-4883. Surefire, keeping what's important comfortable since 1947. We start the fourth quarter. Here at Roger Herring Stadium, campus of the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse, Mike Tronson, Tim Haldeman, Justin Wilski, Ember, Jack, the whole gang's here. And it's 13 12 Columbus. But as we start the fourth quarter, it's going to be third down and goal for Aquinas at the four yard line. They pack it in tight. Snap, direct snap to Lenhair, straight ahead, diving. He's pushed back. He's not going to get there. Probably to about the two-yard line, which would be a gain of two. They handed it off to Brady Lenhair, and he got two yards. So here we go. Fourth and goal coming up in the fourth quarter. Blue Golds go left to right as Tim and I see it. Cardinals go right to left. Can they come up with a huge stop here and preserve a one-point lead? 30 seconds into the final period. Fourth and goal. Aquinas from the two. Direct snap. Len Hare. Right oh, side. Wow. Touchdown, Aquinas. He walked in almost untouched. Well, they lined up strong to the left side with three blockers in the backfield. And uh, needless to say, Columbus was expecting the run to their right. He took off to his right, and there was nobody there. 
So it's 18 to 13, Aquinas on top. We're not even a minute into the fourth quarter. Well, this is a big. Uh, and they go for two again because they apparently big. don't have a this kicking game. This is huge right here. Yep. Oh, they're going to. Yeah, they go for two every time, Tim. I know. So here we go. Thornton out of the gun, has the snap, looking to throw. Got a man. Oh. Got it. Shoot. Caught by Logan Becker for a two-point conversion. 20-13 to 13 is our score. Aquinas on top. Back in one minute, Daily Dodge TV, 95.3 WBEV. Are you ready for peace of mind? Chad Guzzi here, owner of Air Care and Beaver Dam. If you're tired of unexpected repair bills, you want to sign up for our total care plan. It ensures top performance and prolonged life of your heating and air conditioning equipment. Air Care's total care customers receive annual inspections as well as a reduced maintenance rate plus a 10% discount on all service repairs. Air Care, big enough to serve you, small enough to care, 920-356-8860. Join the American packaging team and help create packaging for some of the most iconic brands in the world. Sarah says the benefits at American Packaging are fantastic. At American Packaging, we have a great 401k match. They match us 75 cents for every dollar up to 5%. And we get quarterly bonuses if we meet our budget. We get a Christmas bonus. If you've been here five years, you will also get a seniority bonus. Learn more about joining the American Packaging team in Columbus and DeForest by checking out the careers page at AmericanPackaging.com. Wool. And as we come back to live action, you heard uh, Tim with his uh, description <laughs> of that yeah, commentary. Yeah, is that, that kickoff? The, that was into the third lane of the track, yep. and the track is some uh, ten yards to the uh, outside of the football field. And and uh, we've got a penalty. Is Columbus going to make them kick again, or, or they, they can they take really take good field position? Thirty-five. And by the way, Mike, I would be terribly remiss if I didn't uh, give a shout out to my wife. Who, by the way, you remember last week when I uh, asked her to uh, stoke the wood-burning stove, which I don't have? Well, instead, she put an extra blanket at the bottom of the bed so my feet would get warm. That was pretty cool. That's, huh? I mean, the young lady allows me to do this, so I have to <laughs> give her a special thanks. Honey, I hope you're listening. Having a great time, and uh, they're going to walk it off against uh, Aquinas. Yeah, and they're going to make him re-kick. 35. Yeah. Wow, that's a, that's a five-yard penalty. So Kicking re -kick. is not a strength for this club, to say the least. They make up for it a lot in other ways, don't they? Oh, yeah, they're tough kids. Tough, you tough bet. group. Coach Tom Lee and company. Left footer. Here's the approach. We'll do it again. Squib kick. Short. And this oh. is going to bounce, and Link better grab it. It's a live ball. He has it at the 25. He's going to the far He's side. He's off to the races, it ain't gonna work. and or he gets it? by one man. 25, oh, 30, sideline. 35 breaks a tackle, oh. and then gets upended just shy of the 40. <laughs> if he gets by that man, look out. If he gets by that, he's got a new nickname. It's called Houdini. Holy smokes. He had a mess of blue shirts coming after him, and there were no white ones to block. He almost made it. Great run by Brady Link. Another email here. Cheering on the cards. And Jordan Reuter, number 62, from Leah, Hank, Zoe, Kim, Lance, and Mimi all checking in tonight. Thank you very much. First and 10, Columbus from their own 38, moving right to left, now trailing 20 to 13. And off Brunel, straight ahead across the 40, out to about the 43. Maybe the 44. We'll see where they spot yep. it. Yep, yep, he got six. <clears throat> this email says, Grandma Mary in Arizona getting nervous. Make me proud again. Go get them. That's uh, And show them the best. Card players Connor and Owen. Thank you for that email. It's going to be second and four for Columbus after a gain of six balls on the 44-yard line of the Cardinals. Two receivers to the near side of the field. Snap bat to Powers. Hands up Brunel. Through a hole. 50. Outside 45. Ooh. He's to the 40. Sideline. 30. Breaks another tackle. And finally brought down inside the 25 at about the 23-yard line. That's going to be a gain of about 21, maybe 22 yards. We'll check it out. 
But what a run, and he uh, broke at least a couple of tackles on that run, making some cuts. 21-yard gain and um, 136 yards on 23 carries now for Colton Brunel. Almost two minutes into the fourth quarter. First and 10. Cardinals on the Aquinas 23. Two receivers again to the left. Powers giving it to Brunel. Spins inside the 20, dragging a few tacklers with him, dragging half the team with him. There were about four or five blue jerseys there getting a free ride on the on the Brunel train. And he picked up a healthy five yards. I'm going to, I'll give him five. 18 yard lines where they mark it. So it'll be second <coughs> and five coming up. Houston leading Lake Country Lutheran 14-7 in the third quarter. That just blows my mind. It doesn't really wow. We've seen what them. A, and they're good. Yeah, that's good they good are bunch good. Of players. Second and five. Cardinals on the Aquinas 18. And the give to Brunel. Nothing happening. He's dropped for a loss. And how about Trey Barr, the six foot one inch junior? He was fired up after making that tackle. And did he, he lost a yard. Yep. He lost a yard. I, I was just thinking, you know, we've been giving him a good dose of Brunel, uh, one of two things, either uh, Roach on the little flip on the uh, fly sweep or uh, Peyton Powers just uh, tucking under. And uh, he's had a couple good runs here, uh, especially in the second half. 8.45 and counting left in the game. 20 to 13 Aquinas. Third and six. From the 13 of Aquinas, handoff Brunel, and oh. just, oh, he tried to hop through the middle of the defense, and there just wasn't much he of anything got happening. two. So he did get two, but now fourth down, obviously four down territory <sighs> here. Uh, this email says, you guys have been here before. Keep your heads up. Thanks for the broadcast all the way from the woods in South Beaverdam. The Ballweg <laughs> Purvis family checking in uh, tonight. <laughs> you know, I used to be the self-appointed mayor I, of I South I know you Beaverdam. were. Yep, yes. Yep, yep. This For email, quite a few years. This email says, I need to also acknowledge my other son, number 74, Diesel's brother, Remington Selji, best water boy on the team. Proud of you, too. Here Love we go. mom and dad. Fourth and four. Big one. Fourth and four, Columbus on the 17 of Aquinas. Columbus trailing by seven, fourth quarter. Powers to throw towards the end zone, looking for Link. No. Nope. Incomplete. Intended for Link, and it was broken up by Declan Haas, the 5'11 junior defensive back, and the ball will go over on downs to Aquinas, 7.46 remaining. That was just a jump ball in the left corner of the end zone, and uh, yeah, somebody's going to win, somebody's going to lose, and uh, you know, the first time down at the other end of the field at the end of the first half, Brady Link won that one. This time, the guy in blue won it. But Aquinas with uh, not very good field position here at their own 17-yard line with 7.46 remaining, still plenty of time. This email says, impressed by this Columbus team, a lot of familiar last names, along with a new generation paving the way. On behalf of all that, uh, remember spaghetti dinners, end of the season, prime rib banquets, and understand, get a haircut, go cards, from John Leshesky, class of 96. Oh, hey, he's a player. Absolutely. All right, first and 10 Aquinas from their own 17. And they'll keep it on the ground as they do most of the time. And that's a gain of about three. Kyle White went up to the 20 and then got stopped right there. By the way, I got a, uh, a text last week from Tom Cotts, of all people, a former uh, assistant uh, with me doing broadcasts back in uh, – the late night, just just before your arrival, Mike. I came in in '97. Yep, yep. And uh, Tom, of course, is out in Montana. And Tara and Paul were listening at the Country Club last week. Chances are they're there again. Second and seven, handoff. Oh, White baby. straight up the middle. He's got room. Thirty, breaking a tackle and out to the 35-yard line. First down and more for Kyle White. Brady Link on the tackle, but it's a first and ten for Aquinas. From their own 35, moving left to right, 655 and counting left in the fourth quarter. Aquinas 20, Columbus 13. Remember, Columbus down one timeout as well. They had to take one real early in the second half. 
Got to get a stop here. First and 10 from the 35. Ball's on the left hash, handoff. And that is White for about four. four. Hundred and eleven yards on twenty one carries for uh Kyle White. This email says, Hey coach Titus, I wonder if you know how many kids you coached and you inspired many. It says uh, team of ninety and coach of Beaverdam Youth Football Coach Hatch. Checking in tonight. On the next play, there is they tried to go left side, did Nothing. The ball carrier white, nothing. and there was nothing happening. Third and Jefferson five Mowbray coming up. Jefferson Mowbray on the stop. Yes, he did. Clock ticking, 545 to go in the fourth yep. quarter. Columbus down seven, 20 to 13. Aquinas with possession, and they've got a third and five on their own 40-yard line. Two re- receivers to each side. Thornton takes it. Hands it off, Moline left side, and he's got, does he get the edge? I don't think so. They're going to mark him out where? Good question. They're going to mark him out at the 42, well short. That's a break for Columbus. It's fourth and two, and Columbus is going to get the ball back because it's fourth and about two and a half, three yards to go. With 526 left, Cardinals are going to get the ball back. (sighs) Down by well, seven. Come on, Brady Link. He's back there in uh, single safety to uh, receive this punt. We need something special from the special teams here. Brady Lane here. Snap back to him. Gets the Ooh. punt away. And this will take a Aquinas bounce inside the 25 of Columbus. He's going to die at the 23, just, a, just about anyways. And that's where the Cardinals will set up shop first and 10. With 5.16 to go in the game, they trail by 7. This email says, cheering on the hometown team, Columbus. Also cheering on Aquinas, where our grandkids, Gwen and Oliver, attend school. Their mother is Jennifer, class of 94. That's from Dave and Shirley Zander. How about that? Sports at DailyDodge.com. That's our email if you want to chime in before the end of the game. 5.16 left in this one. 20-13, to 13, Aquinas leads Columbus with a first and 10. From their own 23, moving right to left. Snap to Powers. Fakes the handoff. He's going to run with it. Powers, Powers has 25. Got a lot he's got of room. Hold 30, 35, 40, 45, and out across the 45 yard line goes Peyton Powers. 23 yard gain. That's a great way to start the drive. Your quarterback calls his own number and picks up a first down and more. Ball's marked at the 46 of Columbus. Under five minutes and counting left. Are you on the edge of your seat, folks? Because I'm on the edge of mine. First and 10. Snap. Give to Brunel. Oof. One. One yard, maybe. Well, maybe even more than that. Let's see. They're going to give him, actually, upon further review, they're going to give him two. We'll give him two. Second and eight. They, they gave him two. We gave him two. We're all in agreement. Good night, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see here. Come on, Cardinals. We, you've got this. Love you, Brady, from your Aunt Jamie. Checking in tonight. Here we go on second and eight. Snap to Powers, giving it to Brunel. And, again, the, the sledding up the middle has been very difficult as he picks up about three to the 49 of Aquinas, and now it's third and five for Columbus in Aquinas territory at the 49-yard line, 355 and counting left. Columbus has two timeouts remaining. But they trail 20 to 13 here in La Crosse. Third and five, Cardinals from the Aquinas 49. Give to Brunel. Breaks a tackle. He's Ooh, close to the so first close. down. It's so close, it, but not quite. I think he's, he might be uh, less than a oh, yard short, I think. He's about a link and a half. Sh- oh, boy, it's really close. Wow. It is. Oh, heavens. We got a really. Mike, put your binos on this baby. This is within an eyelash. Oh, yeah. They're going to call it short? 
Yeah, they are. Oh, my goodness. It's I would ask for a measurement. 3.09 and counting. Fourth and less than a yard for Columbus at the 44-yard line of Aquinas. <sighs> Cardinals well, down seven. They need this to keep the, the drive I'll tell alive. You what. They're stacking up for Brunel, needless to say. Brunel's gonna going to get wide. the first down. Right side and taken down inside the 40 at about the 37. And you go, woo, if you're a Columbus fan there. He got, uh, we're going to give him seven on that carry. Yeah, they're going to mark it. And, at, uh, they mark Col it back at the 38. Oh, shoot. Jeepers. I know. Don't you hate that when they do that? Golly. Just to, just to mess with you there, Tim. 2.39 to go. Um, First and 10, Columbus shoot. at the Aquinas 38. Snap, Powers, faking the hand up, Powers running to the near side, trying to uh -oh. get to the edge, and he will. Oh, the there's another one. Golly And he sakes. was hit out of bounds and no flag. Oh, he was sent into the bench. Oh, Columbus fans below us are just, just beside themselves. I mean, holy How do cats. you not flag that? I'm baffled by that. Well, he got a yard he on did. the carry. But this has been a uh, a bit of a bugaboo for Columbus all night long. And, uh, you know, Columbus got a couple calls early in the second half after they uh, had shown their displeasure in the first half. Second but, and nine. Uh, that one was questionable, to say the least. Snap back to Powers, looking to throw across the middle. Caught by Link! He's near the 20 and inside the 20 to about the 19 before he's tackled on the play by Declan Haas. But that's a huge first down. Columbus is in the red zone. 220 and counting left in the ball game. Aquinas 20, Columbus 13, and Columbus now with a first and 10 on the Aquinas 19-yard line. We're going right down to the wire. This is what it's all about. Incredible. First and 10, Seabus. Powers takes the high snap, gives it to Brunel straight ahead. And he gets to he the three. 21, maybe, 22, somewhere in that neighborhood. I see the officials standing on the far side at the 21. That's, that's where they're going to mark it. Three-yard gain, second and seven. 160 yards gained on 30 carries for uh, Colton Brunel tonight. Second and seven cards from the 16 of Aquinas. Here is the give. Nope, faking the handoff. Powers right side. And just he gets short. to the side and just shy of the short. stick. Yep, he's, he's close, but not quite there. Stops the clock with a buck 23 left uh, in the fourth quarter of this seven-point ball game. Peyton Powers with a gain of four. He's got uh, 40 yards gain on the ground for in uh, 10 rushes, which a couple of, of uh, large losses put a detriment on that total. Columbus a little late getting into the huddle here. Better not take too much time. Watch that back judge if he starts to count. Third down and three for Columbus at the 12-yard line of Aquinas. Snap to Powers. Yes. Being flushed out of the pocket. Pump fake, runs, out and out of bounds. Loss of a couple. Ugh. And now it's fourth down. You got to have this one. Fourth and about six after he lost about three on that play. Well, with a minute 17 left, this is essentially your ball game right here. And Columbus is going to take a timeout, it would appear, yep. to talk about this. Yep, this is it right here. What a ball game this has been. What a night here in lacrosse. And so glad that so many of you could join us tonight via Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 WBEV. I'm told that at least at last report we had over 3,200 unique devices tuned into this game on the, uh, the streaming platform. That's fantastic. Oh, we're up. I'm, that's way low. Ninja says we're up over 4,100 right now. 
That is fantastic. Thank you very much. We appreciate all the emails that came in tonight. We enjoy making you a part of our broadcast and hope you enjoyed it. Mike, I just got a final in from uh, Lodi that defeated uh, Xavier tonight, 28-13. to 13. Minute 17 left to go, fourth quarter with Aquinas leading Columbus, 20-13. to 13. And it's a fourth down and six for Columbus at the 15-yard line of Aquinas. This is your ball game. On fourth and six, Power's going to throw across the middle. Oh, no. Incomplete! It's knocked down. The official got knocked down. The ball got knocked down. It's going to go over on downs to Aquinas. The intended receiver was Jefferson Mowbray. And it's Aquinas football with a buck 14 left. Yeah, an awful lot of blue shirts over the middle as uh, Peyton uh, Powers attempted it over the middle as they uh, are getting the referee up off the five-yard line. He took a shot. And... uh, that just can't feel good. But uh, so with 114 remaining in Columbus with one timeout left, uh, does not sound real good. Wow. They're attending to the official. Yeah, he, he really got his bell delay. rung. Yeah, he took a pop. Yeah, he's, uh, he's going to feel that one tomorrow and for the next few days maybe. Let's hope he's all right. We're not trying to make light of that. It looks like he is. Yeah, he's coming over to the sideline. Well, he's walking under his own power. That's yeah, a good that, sign. That's the good news. But they're going to go with four guys here for the rest of this game. Well, with a minute 14 left, you know, probably not a good idea to chance it. So, the Blue Golds get the ball on downs. First and 10 from their own 15. And as Tim mentioned, each team with only one timeout, so Columbus can only stop the Uh, clock once. They're in victory formation, so it's academic. They got to snap it uh, one, two, three times, and it's over. And there's a knee. We'll see if Columbus decides to use that last timeout or not. Yep, they did. Yeah, they stopped the clock with 65 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. So, boy, I tell you, what a battle this has been all night long. And Columbus, they were right there. But unfortunately, they're going to come up a little bit on the short side tonight. Yeah. 65 seconds left to go. This is painful. These last 65 seconds for uh, the, the kids on the sideline, for the uh, fans below us that uh, made the trip, and and uh, thank all of them for uh, coming. I'm sure a lot of them are probably listening or watching or both to uh, us two yahoos up here in this nice, warm, uh, wonderful booth. I'll come back here any day, man. <laughs> this is beautiful. You got me sold on it. They put time back on the clock, a few seconds. So it's now at 108. It's irrelevant. Well, right, but they're they're doing it. So this will be the second knee. There it is. They'll snap, snap again with about uh, less than 30 seconds left. So, And that will be the final yep. kneel of the game. Well, what a season it has been once again for Columbus. Well, Mike, uh, a lot of people have said many, many times as the uh, seedings were put out that this game should have been played at Camp Randall, you know, just the way the seedings went. And uh, we talked to some folks from Aquinas. They were There's the knee, last one. They, they were just happy that they didn't have to go north this year because uh, in years gone by they've had to go north. Well, the... Uh, And you see on your video screen, those of you watching Daily Dodge TV, the Blue Golds are in celebratory mode as they are moving on to the state semifinals. The clock 
just running out the final few seconds of this one. What a great ball game, and Aquinas is moving on. Final score from Lacrosse: Aquinas 20, Columbus 13. Congratulations to Aquinas as they improve to 11 and 1. They move on to the state semis, and for Columbus, for Columbus, another great season. Hats off to the Cardinals, their players, their coaching staff, head coach Andy Selgrad, as they finish up 10 and 2 in a deep run to level three of the postseason. We will step aside. We're going to take a three-minute break. We're back in three minutes on Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 WBEV. The teams at Beaverdam and Mayville Tire and Service are growing and adding service technicians and auto lube technicians. Work in a clean shop environment with a fun and friendly team that is committed to excellence and customer satisfaction. Competitive pay based on experience, full benefits, including health, dental, 401k. Join the growing team at Beaverdam and Mayville Tire and Service. Find full job postings on Facebook or visit either location to submit your resume. Cardinal Embroidery and Screen Printing is your source for custom embroidery and screen printing. From t-shirts, hoodies and hats, to polos, dress shirts and jackets. We have everything your local business needs to be noticed and the right gear for athletes and fans. Cardinal Embroidery is proud to work with many area schools and we wish our Columbus Cardinals good luck as they keep their season going. Let's go Cards! In a time before Facebook, World of Warcraft, and massive multiplayer online RPGs, there once existed simply a game, Dungeons and Dragons. Tilly Evans dies tragically in a car crash. Her older sister Agnes tries to understand who her sister was through a D&D adventure. Join her on her journey at the Columbus High School on Friday, November 10th and Saturday, November 11th at 7 p.m. and Sunday, November 12th at 1 p.m. Are you looking for a safe, secure place to store your extra stuff? Halloween decorations, classic car, boat, or RV? Columbus Self Storage has you covered. Columbus Self Storage has climate and moisture controlled, well lit units open 24 hours a day with a variety of sizes to meet your needs. Conveniently located off of Highway 151 in Columbus. Contact Columbus Self Storage at 608 217 7245 to learn more. Hi, this is Dr. Adam Forster at Columbus Family Dental. If you've been unhappy with your smile, it's time that you come and see us. Our team of doctors are waiting to help you get your smile back. We'll take the time to talk with you and treat you like a member of our family, not just another number. Whether it's a whole mouth makeover or simply a little tweak, we'll find the right solution that fits you. For your free, no pressure consultation, call us today at 623-5559. Duffy Grain has been serving the local agricultural community as a family-owned company since 1928. Duffy Grain provides grain marketing and transportation services with locations in Columbus and Marshall. Visit DuffyGrain.com for market updates, or you can also join the team at Duffy Grain today. Now hiring full-time grain haulers and elevator staff and offering competitive pay with great benefits. Apply online at DuffyGrain.com and click on the careers page. Congratulations, Cardinals, on a great season. You're watching the Daily Dodge Post Game Show. Welcome back to UW Lacrosse. Mike Tronson alongside Tim Haldeman. And this Division Five state quarterfinal was an absolute doozy. And it goes to Aquinas as the Blue Golds defeat the Columbus Cardinals tonight by the score of 20 to 13. Welcome into our post game show. And uh, we're going to run down the scoring summary from this game. In the first quarter, the Blue Golds got on the board first with 2.41 left in the frame. It was a three-yard touchdown run for Kyle White. The two-point conversion failed, but at that point it was 6-0 Aquinas. Flip ahead to the second quarter. Two minutes and 58 seconds into period number two. Big, big backbreaker. A 97-yard touchdown run for the Blue Golds' Derek Maline. The two-point conversion failed, but all of a sudden it's 12-0 Aquinas. Then with 31 seconds left in the second quarter, that's when 
Columbus got on the board on a 31-yard touchdown pass from Luke Call, who had to come in for one play because Peyton Powers had got injured on the previous play. He tossed a 31-yard touchdown pass to Brady Link. Extra point, though, was blocked, 12-6 Aquinas, and that was our score at halftime with the Blue Golds up 12-6 over Seabus. In the third quarter, Columbus took the lead with 5.33 left in the period. Brunel with an 8-yard touchdown run. The extra point tacked on, and it was 13-12 Columbus. But then early in the fourth, we were 36 seconds into the fourth quarter when Aquinas scored the game winner. It was a two-yard touchdown run for Brady Lenhair. Two-point conversion was tacked on to make it 20-13, to and Aquinas holds on for a 20-13 to win over Columbus. So uh, Columbus, again, their season ends at 10-2, and and for Aquinas, they are now 11-1, and and they are moving on to level four, the state semifinals next weekend, and they're going to play the winner of Houston and Lake Country Lutheran, and I don't. I haven't seen a score from that game lately. The last one I did have was Houston leading, I believe, by seven in the third quarter. Um, so as soon as I get a score from that one, I'll pass it along. But Tim, even though Columbus their season is done, if Houston hangs on, uh, we're going to have a game with Houston <laughs> and Aquinas next week. And we're familiar with both clubs. And we're familiar with both clubs. We've seen them both now. So yeah, we've we, done, could have, uh, uh, we could have another game with Aquinas next week. We've done Houston twice throughout the season. We have. They've got some athletes. They can score from afar. And uh, needless to say, we know what this uh, club, uh, Aquinas, uh, would have the uh, healthy advantage up front. They're big. Those boys are big. They average uh, nearly two and a half across the uh, the front uh, okay. offensive I, By the way, ball. I did just get an, uh, an update. Houston has the ball on the Lake Country Lutheran 22 with just over six minutes to play and Houston leading 14-7. to seven. Oh, wow. And uh, by the way, I, I would be remiss totally if I did not uh, tell the folks at home that uh, one of my uh, most favorite uh, basketball uh, referee partners, my good friend Bob Fasick, said that he is one of those 3,200 unique devices. And trust me, he's unique. Yeah, he's unique, all right. <laughs> I know Bob. <laughs> yeah, he has to put up with me. So that's, I know uh, Bob. That's, uh, oh, said something right there. Um, all right, for the uh, stats tonight, uh, for Columbus, uh, three for 12 through the air with one touchdown for a total of 64 yards. 44 carries on the ground, 222 net yards for a total of 286. Colton Brunel, of course, individually, 30 carries. I got him for 160 yards. Uh, Peyton Powers, 11 totes for 37. For the uh, victorious Blue Golds from Aquinas, I had a one-two punch uh, on the ground. Kyle White, 22 carries for 111. And uh, David Moline, uh, 11 carries for 158, and Mike, as you mentioned, the big one, the backbreaker, if you will. You know, looking back at that, it, it was the, the only really, really big play, huge play, from uh, that covered a long distance throughout this entire game. Uh, for the most part, both clubs were uh, somewhat held in check, happy to get the four, six, eight, you know, yards at a crack, but... Uh, you know, the, both passing games were uh, held in check, but uh, that, for some unknown reason, that 97-yarder just uh, sticks in my craw for the uh, remainder of this high school football season. So, uh, total of 329 yards uh, for the uh, Blue Golds, two for 10 through the air, and 38 carries for 278 net, 329. Once again this season, it's been an honor and a privilege to follow this Columbus team. Uh, they can be so proud of all the things that they accomplished. And what a privilege, Tim Haldeman, for us to be ringside, if you want to say that, for the career of the greatest rusher in Wisconsin high school football history. 
And unfortunately, that career came to an end tonight. But Colton Brunel will not soon be forgotten in Columbus or in the state of Wisconsin as the North Dakota commit was absolutely tremendous. I mean, there will not soon be another one like him. Yeah, and uh, something that you very honestly can't uh, put aside, and that's the fact that he played on both sides of the of the line oh, yeah. of scrimmage, Mike. And, and the guy is just an incredible linebacker as well. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, – it's a tough uh, pill to swallow here. And, uh, you know, as we, uh, I'm sure the folks at home are probably, I don't know, has Ninja got it on us? Yeah, he does. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> but if you took a look at the field right now, the uh, Columbus uh, faithful, uh, namely parents and fans, are down at the uh, congregating between the 15 and the goal line. And, uh, you know, lots of hugs and, hey, we're going to live for another day type thing. But uh, right now, it's it's just difficult for the coaching staff, for everybody involved. But uh, so much to be proud of for the, the whole group. So, hey, who knows? Maybe next week we got another one, Mike. Well, if you uh, if Eustacon can hang on, we darn may, well may have another one here uh, next week for you. But uh, we're waiting to see how that one and, and turns out. And I'll tell you what. If that does happen, we're talking Davy and Goliath. Okay? Seriously. I mean, uh, uh, Houston has arrived from absolutely nowhere. And the fact that uh, their coach comes from Texas in his first year of uh, coaching this group of kids. And uh, like I say, he, they've got some athletes, and they're going to give some people some trouble. But, uh, boy, it, it would be just amazing. Well, I just got an update here that came in about 30 seconds ago. First in goal, Houston at the 1 of Lake Country Lutheran. So, I mean, this, I mean, from what I'm seeing here, looks pretty promising, you know. And uh, so we'll uh, we'll keep it here for just a moment to see if we can get Get another update there. Another nice email just came in while I was looking at that one. It says, uh, Tim and Mike, thank you both for the play-by-play -play tonight. You two are amazing. Thank you. And that means a lot to us. We really appreciate that. Very nice for you to say. It says, I still love my Columbus Cardinals football team. Love their favorite ticket taker lady. That's from Cheryl. Cheryl, we love you too. Thank you very much. For very the, kind of you, Very Cheryl. kind words. We appreciate uh, you're, it all. You're too uh, kind. I'll see you at a basketball game probably uh, – if uh, this uh, old body uh, holds out for another basketball season, we're hoping. Speaking of uh, that, a great opportunity exists for people who enjoyed sports as participants or by watching a son, daughter, brother, or sister compete in high school sports. You can make significant income while giving back to the games that meant so much to you and continues to mean so much to today's student-athletes. And how do you do that? You become a WIAA licensed official and it gives you the opportunity to get involved stay in shape and assist in providing the many lifelong lessons proven to be inherent in school-based sports signing up is so easy and how do you do that you go online wiaawi.org and you access the officials tab to get started a message from the wiaa daily dodge tv and 95.3 wbev keeping the education in sports. I'm still waiting to see if uh, Houston has punched it across and, uh, here. And, and if you are technologically challenged as I am and you can't get on the WIAA website, contact Mike or myself because Mike could contact me and I'll help you. We got ways of helping people. I just talked to uh, one of the uh, Columbus uh, fellows in the booth over here, uh, Brady Engel's dad. From last year, I'm sure, sure you recall. Yeah, yeah, he's just uh, signed up to do uh, to do some basketball, and he's uh, thinking about doing football in uh, years to come as well. So, uh, yeah, we need some more. That's all there is to it because uh, this old fella is about ready to hang it up. Uh, tell you what, we need to take another break here. Let's take one more break. We're going to come back. We'll see if we get a Houston update. Let's take a three-minute break back after this on 95.3 WBEV and Daily Dodge TV. 
The fun doesn't stop when the game clock hits zero. Celebrate your team's sweet victory at the Dump Bar and Grill in Cambria and tackle some mouth-watering appetizers, award-winning juicy burgers, or some crispy wings. The Dump Bar and Grill has it all. And with their newest Annex Edition, enjoy more seating for all fans to gather. Satisfy your hunger and get to the Dump Bar and Grill in Cambria, your go-to spot for great food and good times. TheDumpBar.com, cheering on all our local student-athletes. Cheer! Now, cheer louder! Any accomplishment worth doing is worth doing with all your heart and soul. The entire team at Hometown Glass and Improvement knows that dedication, time, and respect can lead to greatness. When practicing free throws, running for a touchdown, or installing new windows and doors, it's a commitment to something larger than oneself that creates a legacy. So keep cheering for your hometown team. Hometown Glass and Improvement, online at hometownglass.com. Jerry's Automotive in Beaverdam is a champion of our local schools. Team up with Jerry's Automotive by pumping your gas at their Spirit Pump, where two cents of every gallon is donated to a local school each month. Jerry's Automotive also provides exceptional vehicle service and repairs and a great selection of convenience items. Visit Jerry's Automotive Center WI.com and on Facebook. Jerry's Automotive, 700 North Spring Street in Beaverdam, across the street from Beaverdam Food Pride. Is selling your home like a walk in the park? If you are in Central Park at 2 a.m., maybe. Chris Kladowski, Kladowski Real Estate. When it is time to sell, be it due to loss or love, growth or downsizing, staying near or going far, there are three basic steps. List it, sell it, move on. The steps are made simple by working with a trusted real estate advisor. Our family team is with you every step of the way, making those three steps as smooth and fun as possible. Kladowski Real Estate. We look forward to serving you. Mid-State Equipment and Rentals in Columbus congratulates the Cardinals on another fantastic season. Mid-State Equipment has lifts available for rent, great for tree trimming and holiday decorating, and building repair and maintenance. Mid-State Equipment has a nice selection of still products, including many battery-operated units like chainsaws and leaf blowers. Get ready for the winter with a new Aaron's Snowblower. Mid-State Equipment can also service your Bobcat and John Deere equipment. Learn more at midstateequipment.com. As always, go Cardinals. Come on over to MP's Town Tap at 153 North Ludington Street in Columbus for hearty homemade soups, fresh pizza made to order, and burger patties hand padded to perfection each morning. Enjoy daily specials like Taco Tuesdays or Saturday's Juicy Prime Rib, and events like free darts and pool on Tuesdays or bingo on Wednesdays. Like them on Facebook or call 920-623-4527 for their hours and to learn more. Go Cards! You're watching the Daily Dodge Post Game Show. And as we continue our post game show, Mike and Tim with you. With a minute 44 to play, Houston has now gone up 21 7 on Lake Country Lutheran. So, barring the miraculous, Tim, you and I are going to have a game next week, and it's going to be Lake, uh, it's going to be uh, Aquinas and Houston. We won't know exactly where that game is going to be played, probably for another day or two, but it appears we're not done yet here, Tim, and that is intriguing now. Very intriguing to me, and uh, that means Ninja is going to be pressed into service next week too. He thought he was getting a vacation. I don't think so. So, yeah. No, but No uh, rest for the wicked. No rest, but say, uh, right, thanks Ninja? to our – yeah, <laughs> thanks to our good friend P.J. Oswald for uh, sending a text with some uh, info there about where that one is. And, uh, oh, by the way, uh, this email just came in, and this I, I had to, to smile on this one. It says, will you and Tim be back together to broadcast next season? Please let me know. Thanks. That's from Dan. And, Dan, all I can say is, God willing, in the creek don't rise, we will be back. I, uh well. I, we've we've survived as long as we have. I don't know how, but we have. And you know, I said this is year twenty-seven for me. What is it for you? Like year thirty-eight? Oh, something like that. Something like that. And I said, uh, you and I, Tim, we've survived ownership changes. We've survived uh, management changes. We've survived format changes, and we're still here. So um, you know what? It's uh, it's been a pleasure. It really it's it's an honor. I say it all the time. It's an honor to do this job. I don't take it lightly. Tim, I know you feel the same way. Uh, we're very privileged to be able to do this. And 
you know, both of us, Tim, are so passionate about what we do, and I hope that that shows, folks, when you're tuned into these games and you're watching and you're listening, uh, because it's genuine. We're not we're not forcing it. So, and speaking of passion and somebody who's at the top of their their game, Justin Wilski, who's next door to us here, um, he's the best in the business, and uh, I haven't given him near enough uh, credit tonight. But and he's giving me the ah, knock it off. Yeah, well, when he's he's over there uh-huh. thinking, well, it's about time, Tronson. I mean, what the? <laughs> no, it it uh, Justin is he's the best in the business, and this this production that you watch on Daily Dodge TV, folks, this would not even be remotely as good as it is without his talent, his time, all that he invests in it. And uh, so, Ninja, thank you. It's it's an honor to work with you, and you're a great friend and a great colleague. Appreciate uh, all you do for us. And Ember, too, and Jack, and the whole family, for goodness sake. I mean, they're all involved in it, and uh, we really, really love you guys and can't thank you enough. Mike, the fact that he's got, uh, you know, two other members of his family that are uh, into this as well should uh, give you a rather good indication that uh, this is a a work of passion for – for the family as a whole right. and uh, it's his baby you know he started this whole deal and uh, you know don't just throw your hands up and go uh ah, forget it ninja because man any any accolades sent your way are um, should be well received and uh, it, it's an absolute honor to work with you and uh, by the way uh, whether or not i'll be back next year is uh, is up to two people all right the good lord above number one and my agent. Your agent. <laughs> hey, you, I got a laugh out of Ninja on that one. <laughs> yeah, my agent. That may, that may be the best line of the night, Tim. <laughs> well, I have, I have, yeah, I think Steve Gates is going to be my agent. All right, Steve, I know you're listening up there in uh, in uh, La La Land. Steve wherever. Gates. I, yeah. I figured you had you'd hire a guy named Shady Ed or something like that, <laughs> but uh, apparently not. <laughs> No, Steve, and the, I've talked to Steve about my uh, my large wage that I get for this uh, this uh, work of passion, and uh, he says I should hold out, but uh, no, it's it's for the love of the game. Trust well, folks, me. we got to get out of here. They're closing down the press box. They uh, they want us well. to get out of here. We want to thank we our paid sponsors. Rent. We paid rent. We did. Forget them. Our game tonight brought to you by our presenting video sponsors, Hometown Glass and Improvement and Columbus Family Dental. Tonight's game also brought to you by Prairie Ridge Health, Mid-State Equipment and Rentals, Duffy Grain, MP's Town Tap, Cardinal Embroidery and Screen Printing, the Columbus High School Drama Department, Columbus Self Storage, McKinstry's Home Furnishings, Kladowski Real Estate, Slumberland, Silica for Your Home, Summit Ford, Beaverdam Tire and Service and Mayville Tire and Service, Surefire, Richards Insurance, Reed Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Park Village Shopping Center, Preferred Dental Partners, Jerry's Automotive, Air Care, The Dump in Cambria, and White Construction. That's going to wrap it up. 20-13, to 13, Aquinas defeats Columbus tonight in this Division Five state quarterfinal. Thank you, everyone, for being with us. We hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to Ember, Jack, Ninja. Great job. Love you guys. Thanks again for all you do. And for my longtime friend and partner, Tim Haldeman, Mike Tronson saying so long from UW Lacrosse. Have a pleasant evening and enjoy your weekend. This has been a Daily Dodge TV and 95.3 WBEV Sports presentation. Good night, everybody. You're watching the Daily Dodge Post Game Show.